Hello, boys and girls. How are we doing? Where's my thing? There it is. Hello. How are we doing? Um, pre strip. Why well, can't I remember how I start the streams anymore? I'm losing my mind, I think. I think I need a day off. Not from streaming, just from my brain. Dave, stop sitting up. Dave's new thing is he likes to sit on my headphone cable, which then pulls my head down. It's very annoying. Um, Hello, folks. Welcome to the pre-stream stream. This is where the cool kids hang. A slightly shorter than usual pre-stream stream today uh, because I was making a cup of coffee. I mean, I don't need an excuse. I start when I want. I was making a cup of coffee. How are we all doing? Is everybody good? Um, it is the playoffs this evening. Playoffs and transfers and maybe some job hunting. It's going to be a good one this evening, boys and girls. Um, let's see what we've got going on down in the chat. Um, if you don't win the playoffs, will I look for another job? I think I'll be looking for another job regardless, because even if we were to get to the Premiership, I don't think Clyde are ever going to win it. So I'm not sure whether that involves looking for another job in Scotland or maybe moving on to pastures new. We might have a look at what leagues we've got loaded. Um, it might be time to venture off into some of the other second tier leagues around Europe. Maybe not head straight to England, maybe head to Portugal or the Netherlands or somewhere like that somewhere we don't normally go and just keep moving around the places we don't normally go but we shall uh, we'll have a look at the leagues in a second we'll decide what we're going to do once we've um once we've figured out whether we're in the premiership or not i think if we get promoted we have to have a season up there i'm hydrating don't worry have i got any of those leagues loaded i don't know probably not but we can add them it's not a big deal to add them that's for sure um, because we're going to do at least one more season in Scotland, I'm sure. Um, you can move up in reputation from Scotland to Gibraltar. I'm not sure that's quite true. <laughs> right, shall we, um, shall we do some, shall we do some football manager? I want to get straight into these playoffs. Last night was painful. If you weren't in the stream last night, oh my word, we were top of the table for so long. Okay, we jumped up and down. It felt like we were top of the table more consistently than that, but we went into the final day of the season, top of the league, and we just absolutely bottled it. Just absolutely bottled it. It was a nightmare. So we've now got the playoffs. Uh, the playoffs in the Scottish Championship, if you've not been involved in them before and not familiar with them, it's the team second to fourth in this division and the team who finish second from bottom in the division above, which is the only other Scottish team I've ever managed before, Hamilton. Um, so Hamilton are in the playoffs with us, Air and Partick Thistle. So it's it's going to be touch and go whether we can make it up into the Scottish Premiership. We shall see as the evening goes on. Then we've got transfers. We've got money in the bank, so we might actually get a decent amount to spend on transfers. Although looking at this transfer budget for next season is 24 grand. We're still part time. Do they have part timers in the Premiership? If we get promoted, are we going to go full time? Because that's the really crazy thing. We're still, I think we're still part-time. Yeah, we're still semi-pro and we're on the verge of the premiership. These teams, these are all, these are all professional in the premiership, aren't they? It's absolutely mad. Right, let's, um, let's just hit continue a few times and see what happens. In fact, like I was just talking about on the, on the intro, what we could do is make sure we've got some interesting leagues loaded. So I think the idea of going to Ireland is done now. I don't think we're going to... I think that Ireland or Northern Ireland is a step back in the save. So I think we're going to remove them. We'll leave Wales on for now. We'll obviously leave Scotland and England on. But let's add... No, not add a manager. Let's add some more leagues. So we want sort of second tier leagues that we don't normally manage in. So... I mentioned Portugal is an interesting one. So maybe we need like second division and up. Maybe third division and up. So these will all add this summer then. Um, so we'll add Portugal. Yeah, Belgium is a good shout. The Netherlands is a good shout. Um, Austria, would we count Austria as second tier league or... I guess. I don't know. I'll put them on, but I don't know that I would. Again, I'm not sure if I'd count Norway. I'd perhaps put the likes of Austria and Norway a little bit further back. Turkey, maybe? Turkey should maybe be coming on. We need to make sure we don't slow the game down too much. Um, Let's leave Turkey off. 
we did Greece, and that's basically Turkey, isn't it? They'll all love that. They'll all love that. Um, we've done Greece before. We don't need to add Greece. I want leagues I've not done before. Is the Serbian league really a second tier league? Russia is a good shout. I think that'll do. So that's taking off Ireland and Northern Ireland, adding Austria, Belgium, Portugal, Russia, and Holland. I think that'll do. I think that gets the job done for now. We can always add more at a later date. We don't have to. We don't have to be married to those options, but it just gives us other options for if and when we do some job hunting because if we have a look at competition reputations so we don't want any of the top five and then it's portugal russia holland scotland greece which we've done before ukraine is on there which we've put belgium and austria ahead of ukraine maybe we should have gone ukraine turkey's on there as well belgium i think we're comfortable i think we're comfortable with what we've got let's get into the playoffs we'll worry about the next job once we've seen the players if we get promoted we've got to do one more year we absolutely have to do one more year if we go up if we don't go up and the right job appears then i'm tempted are we going to acknowledge lazio yeah i don't mind acknowledging lazio uh, it's fine it's all for the greater good we can concentrate domestically now oh god right when are these playoffs happening when do the playoffs happen they're not actually on the schedule anywhere should add france i've managed in france before though i want to go to places i've never been before i guess on that basis i've managed in belgium before as well i should probably take belgium off we are going to take belgium off because i've managed belgium in belgium before let's remove belgium and Ukraine or Turkey. Let's add one of those. Um, I think Turkey was the higher one, wasn't it? So let's add Turkey. There you go. So I've never managed in Turkey. There's a sting in my voice about Lazio. I have no ill feeling towards Lazio. They're great. Uh, can't you apply for the right job anyway? Then have a plan in place for after the playoffs. No, because I might not want to leave. So one arm swan going to be joining me on a potential European tour. I don't know. It depends on where we go and if he's good enough, I guess. If we end up in the second tier in the Ukraine, then he can probably come over there and do a job, I would think. Whether he'd get a work permit. Does the work permit thing work both ways? I know it's hard to get work permits for non-British players in Britain now. Is it equally as difficult for British players to get work permits in the rest of the world? Or do they just get welcomed in with open arms up the empire and all that? How does it work? Who did I manage in Belgium? We did Club Bruges on Twitch a few years ago. We, I think we did Den we went Denmark to Belgium. I feel like there was, and then maybe to Germany. We might have done Hamburg as well. Does that sound right? We did a little European adventure a few years ago. The con your content maybe by FM. Loved your content. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. Bum, 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 bum. I know in Italy they count as non-EU, so they're very limited. But then Ukraine's not EU in the first place, is it? If we're using Ukraine as an example, I doubt it's changed the difficulty in getting someone like that into the Ukraine. But yeah, in countries that have a limit on non-EU players, I imagine it becomes a problem. Like we saw in Greece. We were constantly, in the Apollon save last year, we were constantly stuck with non-EU players causing problems. So that it, it would be much harder to take the likes of Damien and Duffy over there if we were to do it again. Right, we are playing Partick Thistle. Does that make sense? Okay, so how does this work? So there's already been a first, a first round. So Partick Thistle have knocked out air. So it's not semi-finals and then a final. Partick Thistle have knocked out air. And then we play Partick Thistle, and then the winner of that then goes on to play Hamilton. So Hamilton are guaranteed a, final, a spot in the final. Seems a little bit biased towards the, uh, the club already in possession to me. I don't like the sound of this. All right. Let's apparently throw a load of players into the reserves. That's a way to 
build motivation going into a big game. Is this a two-legged match? It is. So if they already played a two-legged game over... Yeah, see, this feels very streamer showdown -y. Partick Thistle have just, have just got a morale boost. Well, they did lose to Air, actually. But they've just won a playoff game. Whereas we're coming into it off the back of losing our last game of the season. This seems certainly in FM to artificially disadvantage us the most of everybody, which I don't like. Hmm. Right. Was that our keepers just been called up to the under 21s? Lovely old stuff. Robert Coleman, the baldest 21 year old there ever was is now a Scottish under-21 international. He was previously only under-19. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So if we get through to the final, it'll be two legs as well. We don't get to go and do a Wembley playoff final at Scottish Wembley, wherever that may be. I've not been here long enough to learn. We're just going to continue calling it Scottish Wembley and the Scots will love it. Right, so we're pretty much full strength. There's no one, there's no one that we're missing. There's no excuses. We just need to beat them. We've beaten Partick Thistle plenty of times this season. We can beat them again, I hope. It's just our form really abandoned us towards the end of the season. It's a two-leg final. That's rubbish. Where's the where's the where's the entertainment? Where's the where's the experience of all that? Hamden Park's a Scottish Wembley. I bet they love having it referred to like that. <laughs> Right, where's my beverage? Hello oh, then, boys. I think I bit my lip. My lip feels funny. Okay. Let's do a football, shall we? See, Dante Casanova is a lovely man. Two leg finals are very stupid. They are very stupid, but I guess... I guess because the clubs involved are so small... The idea of booking out Hamden for a game in between Clyde and Hamilton, I assume that's not really going to sell out, is it? So there's not really much point in doing it. So I can kind of get why it's not at a, at a big place. Right. Come on, the one-armed swan. Look at that. That's beautiful from the one-armed swan. If only you'd have, only you'd have had a finish to apply to that, that would have been lovely, but it was not to be. What's going on with my lip? Really trying to work out what I've done to my lip. Feels like I've been punched in the mouth. I don't think I've been punched in the mouth. <laughs> if I start slurring my speech, make me put my arms above my head just to make sure that it's not all going wrong. That wouldn't be much fun to do on stream. Any more ghosts today? No, I don't think so. Right. Come on now. I mean, we, this is the away leg, so I guess drawing the away leg will be fine, but we'd just like to get back into some kind of form. That's what we're looking for, really. The one-armed swan is there with his header. It's a 30-second goal of the season. It's a goal straight out of Lynette Beautiful stuff. And it's Partick Thistle nil, Clyde one. Um, who needs two arms? Exactly. Not the swan. I did survive the haunting. Even though I'm now convinced Anna will burst in tonight and try and scare me because she knows I'm now afraid. Do away goals count? I don't know. But the away, it's a tight offside. But it wasn't offside, was it? Um, I'm not worried about away goals one way or the other. We've scored one now, so it doesn't really matter. I think away goals are usually just a European football thing, aren't they? Anna will almost certainly storm in tonight, I know, because she wants me to have a heart attack. I'm already sat here asking you to keep an eye on me making sure i'm not having a stroke because my lip feels funny and then she's going to come in and finish me off you better win i bet 8k on you going up that seems a little extravagant looks behind you what the ghost i was uh i was um i was looking at options for replacing this the light behind me this light here that they're not in stock on Amazon at the moment, so I can't replace it, and it just looks stupid without a light there. I sat there this afternoon trying to design a nano leaf display that could fit around my my two YouTube plaques, and I'm Kevy two plaques in a month or two. I think I have a design, so I might have to get some get some nano leafs to go in there instead. 
Does the door have a lock? Uh, the door does not have a lock. No. Locking doors. We've talked about this before. Uh, locks on doors inside people's houses is just weird. But apparently it's a European thing. Um, we were It was nil-nil in this game at halftime. Five minutes into the second half and we've just gone three-nil up. My team talk, I think it's fair to say, quite effective. Locking interior doors is a perfectly acceptable thing to do. It's weird. I've never, ever been in a house. A bathroom's different, but any other room in the house with, lock, with a lock on the door, just weird. Yeah, the bathroom has a lock, but this is not a bathroom. Believe it or not, therefore doesn't need a lock. Locks on any other door in the house, weird. What you're hiding, you weirdos. <laughs> Ghosts don't have a problem with locked doors. I mean, believe it or not, I'm not actually scared of ghosts because I'm pretty sure it's unlikely a ghost will get me. I was more concerned about the axe murderer coming in. As a teenager going through puberty, you need a lock on your door. I, just, I don't think you do. You just need parents who knock. <laughs> I mean, if your parents are so weird that you have to lock your door to keep them out, then that's more of a worry than the locks even you shouldn't need a lock to get privacy depends if it's a shared house or not again not a shared house is it just a normal family house locks are weird just close the door the door is closed does that keep the ghosts out? Oh, are we talking about for privacy? Yeah, exactly. Parents don't knock. They own the place. I mean, that's such a weird attitude. So they don't knock. They own the place, but you can lock them out. There seems to be some really odd, twisted logic there. If the door's unlocked, I can, I can open it because I own the place. Oh, no. Someone's locked the door in this place I own, though. Best stay out. <laughs> what if the kid walks in and the parents up to no good? Again! Knock on the damn door! Pantry lock? Why? Who are you keeping out of the pantry? <laughs> I don't understand. Does pantry mean something else? Somewhere other than where I'm from. A pantry's just a cupboard you put food in, isn't it? No reasonable person expects young kids to knock on the door. What, so it's better to lock them out? That's completely unreasonable. Just train them to have some manners so they knock rather than locking them out. We don't even have a lock on the toilet. If the door is closed, assume it's occupied. Exactly. My old house didn't have a lock on the bathroom door. It's only since we've been here we've had a lock on the bathroom. And I don't think I've ever used it because who's going to, you know, it's fine for Anna to come in and everyone else knows the door if the door is locked if the door is shut don't go in you people with your strange lock obsessions there's a weird student accommodation at my uni where you could just walk through the flats on each floor from one side to the other nice <laughs> student accommodation is weird room cupboard lock so they can't get into the gas meter so who can't get in who are you locking out of stuff to be fair if i hear someone coming up the stairs i do let out a distinct cough just to warn anyone <laughs> i've got to protect my rather expensive vinyl records from who <laughs> If you just drop to the stinker, you leave the door wide open and stink up the whole house. Well, I could do if I wanted to. I mean, most of the time I wouldn't. But it's not like we don't live in a mansion. <laughs> we don't. We don't wonder. We don't think. Right, I'm off to the toilet. I wonder where everyone else is. You know where they are. Oh, they're not in the room, so they must be in the toilet or the kitchen. You walk past the kitchen to get to the toilet. Oh, they're not in there. We're, we're good to go, boys. Yeah, exactly. Open the bathroom window as well. We have a latch on the kitchen door from the inside of the living room so the dog can't enter the door. Can't open the door and eat the tiles. 
and hay that he likes to. I mean, again, I guess a latch is different from a lock because Dave is suitably flummoxed by just a closed door. He doesn't need a lock on it. <laughs> He's not there going, well, if this door was just, just had a door handle and no lock, I'd have free reign. Just closing the door is enough to keep Dave out of a room. You don't need to leave the door wide open if it's properly closed occupied if it's put to but not fully closed it's fine and contains any nasty smells exactly past the kitchen to get to the bathroom mine are on separate floors well mine aren't well some of them are my kitchen and one toilet is upstairs and then the next floor up is the other two toilets I'm not someone who can really talk about privacy. I have a full length window in my shower. Nice. I just don't get the idea of locking all the rooms. Again, I'm not opposed to having a lock on the bathroom door. Like I say, we have one. I just don't use it because why would I need to? Especially because I don't use the same. The I, I use our ensuite now most of the time. So no one but me and Anna goes in there. And if Anna walks in on me while I'm using the toilet, that's really not a big deal. Um, so there's no way of the kids walking in on me in the ensuite anyway. But you certainly don't need locks on other rooms. That's madness. So, in summary, I'm not going to put a lock on my office door. Can I just say I never have these conversations anywhere else? Look, you lot start them. <laughs> Kitchens should be on ground floors. Who says? Who's, where's that a rule? What do you do if you live in a block of flats? Oh, I live on the ninth floor. Not allowed a kitchen because Gatford says so. We have to go down to the, the poor the poor old lady who lives on the ground floor, so she's got disabled access. If we want a slice of toast, we have to go and knock on her door. Absolute madness. <laughs> oh dear. I think he meant in non-shared housing. Yeah, but there's no rule about what should be where. I mean this is this is a four-bed house. This is officially a bedroom. Although I use it as an office, but this could be a bedroom. So we could have a bedroom on the floor below one of the, the, uh, the floor below the kitchen. It's fine. Never been on this stream before. Conversation is absolutely. Stream conversations are the most intellectually challenging ones I have. <laughs> I mean, you lot worry me. So we're talking about this. I've had my dinner in the time we've had this conversation. Where, what floor was your kitchen on? And did it have a lock on it? Because these are apparently the key issues. We're in the playoffs here, people. And all you can care about is where my kitchen is. <laughs> we are thumping this lot, though. We're, uh, we're going to be going into the game against Hamilton in some good form, which is lovely stuff. Kind of depends on what ground floor means, really. I've been in houses where the front door goes into the second floor. Yeah, exactly. The kitchen can be wherever you want the kitchen, really, when the house is being built. I mean, to me, it's much more logical. To, I, you could argue we could have the living room on the second floor because we're in a townhouse. It's narrow and tall. It's only like one room wide. So we can't have our living room and our kitchen on the ground floor because there isn't, there isn't room for both of them. Um, so the front of our house is all of the smaller rooms. So my office and the front door and then Amy's room and one of the toilets and then next floor up is Andy's room and his bathroom. The back of the house, we have the living room goes all the way across and then the next floor up, the, la the kitchen diner goes all the way across and the next floor up, our bedroom and ensuite goes all the way across. It makes sense. You could, I guess, argue, well, I'd rather have the kitchen on the ground floor and the lounge on the next floor up. I would say, yeah, I actually prefer it like this because then my... My patio doors open from my living room out into the garden so we have a more open communal gardeny type area works for me my girlfriend's parents house has locks on almost every door but it used to be student accommodation so i can understand it yeah i mean if if there's a reason then that's okay if they'd put all those locks on i'd be looking for a, a new girlfriend because i wouldn't want any part of that family uh, we moved in the first one we did is put locks on every door we feel much better now there's locks on every door rumor has it that football manager game broke out in the middle of kev's internal locks where, where you're allowed a kitchen in a house discussion yeah but we're comfortably winning it so we don't need to focus on it too much 
We're six nil up on aggregate and it's only half time in the second leg. I think we're all right. The fact we smashed Thistle in both games does suggest we're too good for this league. We are too good for this league. We just bottled it. Bottled it on the last day. And my worry is we're going to bottle it again against Hamilton. Right, we need to hydrate and do a posture check. Ah, lovely. Sounds like some people lock everything, even their underpants. Exactly. Surely it's more traditional to have the kitchen on the ground floor due to gas, electric, water supplies. I mean... I don't know about you, but my house has gas, electric, and water. Well, it has electric and water on every floor. Gas on two floors. My, In fact, no, gas on all three floors because our boiler's on the top floor. So, yeah, we have gas, electric, and water on all three floors. All three floors of our house. We live in luxury. We've got water in every bathroom and everything. We've got lights in every room. <laughs> I realise we're proper fancy. Do you hear that? Kev's so rich, he's got lights in every room. <sighs> I imagine these odd people with internal CCTV in their houses. I've got CCTV in here. I've got two CCTV cameras in this room. So that everything in here is covered. The window's covered. The door is covered. So this room has CCTV. So don't rob from this room. No, we're not promoted from this. We have to beat Hamilton yet. You've got water in every bathroom. I know. Madness. Electricity on every floor. I see why they call you the richest FM streamer. I know. We don't even have to go out in the back garden to use the toilet. Our toilets are in the house. Can you believe it? <laughs> I was flabbergasted. But you mean it's not just a bucket at the end of the street? The, the good old communal street bucket used internal locks you wouldn't need internal cctv i mean that's completely not the case because if i get robbed if i get all my stuff stolen out of this room and say to the police don't worry though i locked the door so you'll find it really easy to catch who did it whereas my way it's i got robbed and here's high definition footage of the people who did it here's the close-up photographs of their faces and um, this shows you the exact time they broke in what they took how they got in i would argue the cameras much more valuable than locking the door because my house has locks on the doors you know <laughs> need to do the next stream showdown as the million dollar man ted dibiase no because the gimmick doesn't work when ben's there because everyone knows he's actually the richest man in fm you're not really you're really not responding seriously to me are you what was your question if you used internal locks you wouldn't need internal cctv yeah absolutely i was responding seriously who needs a toilet? Just go like nature intended. I'm pretty sure nature intended for me to use a toilet. As if he's the richest man in FM, you're a Japanese millionaire. Yeah, he's got more money than I have. Haven't you put a lock on who can win the stream of showdown when you're in it? Absolutely. Bum, 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 bum. Well, I think 7 nil on aggregate is acceptable. Now we just need to hope Hamilton are tired or not match fit after not playing for ages. And they've now got the problem I identified we might have going into this match where because they've finished second bottom, presumably they've had some pretty rotten form to end the season. Whereas we're off the back of a 3-0 and a 4-0 win. So I'd like to think we're going in as the form team, the team of momentum. The only problem is... If they're just much better than we are, we don't know what size the gulf is between the championship and the premiership in Scotland. The fact that we're part-time and they're full-time could be a problem. Ben referenced you as a billionaire in his GTA RP stream last night. The man can't stop talking about me. He's obsessed. <laughs> Hold on. Where's that? We had a million pounds beforehand. Where did the other 600,000 come from? Oh, we got 600,000 prize money. When did we get a did we get a message about that? 
I don't even remember seeing the message about that, but we've got loads of money now. I reckon your formation is a cheap formation. I mean, Arsenal's league, Champions League wins. I mean, it's not, though, is it? It's a 4 2 3 1. It's not a cheat. It's one of the presets in the game. How do you become full pro in 2021? What does that mean? Right, let's check Hamilton's form. Yeah, this is why we didn't get Hamden Park. <laughs> because there's going to be 6,000 people there and that's it. So this lot have only won one game since February. Although they did, re they did beat Rangers earlier on in the season. But they have been in rotten form for a long, long time. So hopefully... Hopefully we can beat them. 4 2 3 when Gagan presses overpowered, says some people. I say it's not. <laughs> Didn't the, Zealand did a whole video testing it, confirming it's not. People just think it is because it works. But a lot of the preset tactics work. If you use a 4 3 3 3, if you use a 4 3 3 vertical tiki tacker, it works as well. Uh, 4 4 4 2 4 wing play works. There's lots of the preset tactics that work. That's why they're the preset tactics, because they work. <laughs> I imagine if you wanted to play defensively, if you were a bit of a Philip Koku, um, then Catanaccio probably works. Isn't 4 2 3 when Gagan press just what most of the Premier League tries to use these days? So, yeah, exactly. It just makes sense to try and play the way I would want my team to play. People just get upset about it because they see people winning doing it. But that's just because most people are doing it. So when they win, I mean, I've lost plenty of stuff doing it as well. Did anyone watch today's non-league legend? Tell me again how 4-2-3-1 is overpowered. Um, right. Here we go then. Home leg first. Here we go. Here we go. The right formation with the right style with the right players can be any other tactic. It's just not always easy finding the players some styles compared to others. Yeah, exactly. The kind of players I like fit a Gagan press really nicely because I like quick, energetic, physical players. I don't watch Nonny's Legend now. Can't wait for the new series. You're missing out. Nonny's Legend is great. Are you one of the sulky Sulkersons who stopped when we won the Champions League? Even though, storyline-wise, it didn't make sense to stop the series there. Sulky, sulky, sulky. Losing to a team that doesn't even exist. I know. I'm a monster. Right. It's Ham A. Clyde versus Ham A. It's been a very, very tame opening. But fingers crossed we can get a breakthrough because I don't really rate our chances of going to their place needing a result. So we do kind of need to pull something off in this first leg and give ourselves something to go there and defend. What have we just done? Oh, no, 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 no. What have we just done? Arr. I once had a board ask me to play defensive football. It took me ages how to work out. I'd just ignore that. I'd just not do it. Right. Come on now. Urgh. I'm a bit sad you aren't going abroad in non-league legend, but I do get why the series is ending. Yeah, I mean, remember, we don't always go abroad in non-league legend. We just sometimes do. We go where the story takes us. Moving clubs in FM21, it just seems hard. I hope they adjust that for FM22 so that it's not quite so tricky to move clubs because it does ruin journeyman saves a little bit if it's if you never get job offers. We, I think we only had four interviews throughout the whole of Non-League to Legend. And one of them, we, uh, yeah. I don't, know where, I don't know where I was going with that. Um, 
but yeah it needs to they need to make it so that you can actually get some jobs right we are gonna we're still continuing to tweak what we're doing here i think um i'm gonna get whitaker off we want to get her on we're gonna go for a goal okay and then get the guinness walker off as well we've got to push for a goal You also search much less, much less actively this year because everything was going well all the time. Yeah, I guess, but usually I leave because I'm offered something somewhere else. It's not often from searching. Certainly until it becomes playtime at the end when everyone stops watching. Not getting many interviews is realistic, but it is a video game. Not ever having clubs come in for me, I don't think is that realistic, though. Um, This is a problem. We're going to be stuck in the championship for another year all because of the gap between full-time and part-time we need to go full-time if we're going to compete uh, <laughs> come on more oh this is not good they've literally got a player called hamilton that feels like cheating we need to sign a clyde this summer now then <sighs> i don't think we're going up boys and girls It's going to take something spectacular in this second leg to turn this around. But, you know, stranger things have happened. I don't think Robbie Ur is cut out for Scotland. We need to send him back to Wales. Dante Casanova's tired. I'm only going to give him a short rest. He's not going on holiday. He can have a two-day rest. I'm not playing turn this ship around. I don't want to mess around with the paperwork. It didn't work last night. We'll be fine. We'll figure it out. We're making money. That's nice. There's money flowing in. Money's always good. We like money around these parts. In my save, Jamie Hamilton at Hamilton has a regen brother. So Hamilton have two Hamiltons. Nice. <laughs> and it's had a great few days on FM won every game in the league and both cups in the Europa League lovely stuff right what do we do I'll tell you what we do we do what we'd normally do and just hope that luck is shining down on us and we have a good day rather than a bodily day I think there's a way to take the music out of your VODs. There is, but I don't want to fiddle around with it. There's lots of options, but I just want the easiest one, which is not play it, and then just upload it as it is. Oh, I need my new chair. The arm on this chair is broken, and it's so annoying. It's constantly... My arm's constantly going... <laughs> right. Here we go, then. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Microphone. Get in place. Come on! Hmm. Oh, we should probably do a team talk. Pump those actual fists. <laughs> right, they're playing a flat back five. Lazy. No ambition. They deserve to be relegated with that pathetic defensive formation. Grow up, Hamilton. Grow up. Right, we're going attacking and we're demanding more straight away. We're going for it. You don't need ambition at 2-0 up then they should be relegated for being pathetic. You should always try and win a football match. They haven't won this match yet. Their fans have turned up. They should try and win. I'm disgusted. Not flat, it's a curvy five. Mike, you don't know what flat means. If you've ever heard me describe any football formation ever, you know what flat means. Imagine going down because you were branded as pathetic. I think that is fair i think they should be relegated playing a back five at home in a playoff final pathetic they deserve to be relegated there should be judges to just punish patheticness if they have less than 20 shots on target they should be relegated 
for patheticness. It's just pathetic. Hamilton are now on my enemies list. I don't want to see their dirty goal. No ambition. I debated using a back five for my own save, then remembered I'm not Spanish. Did you remember you weren't pathetic? <laughs> oh, dear. Goodness me. Hooray! The one armed swan! We're alive! We're alive! That's the new saying. Do I look pathetic to you? <laughs> only reason to use a back five is to try and get a sweeping. The only reason to use a back five is if you're pathetic. Is it still pathetic if they have wing backs on attack and a libero? Yes. It's still pathetic. If anything, it's even more pathetic because they've tried to make it look like they're not pathetic when everyone knows they are pathetic. <laughs> right. Come along now. We can grab another one before half time. This is absolutely game on. So I would like to do that, please. take the pressure off but at the same time put some pressure on okay okay no rash decisions but can i put three more strikers on the pitch for the sub um kj lots of numbers all right here we go the the uh this is the pathetic toppler this is what we're doing i love the fact i'm getting called out for button clicking those of you saying variations of pathetic but smart and other nonsense like that you get a vote when you've won five showdowns. Until then, Kev knows. And anyone else, pathetic. Oh, dear. Right, here we go. Let's exploit the long throws. Love a bit of exploitation. Oh, 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 oh. How tall's the goalkeeper? Not tall enough. How tall's our reserve goalkeeper? Not tall enough, but he's so happy to be here. Look, loves it. Just loves life. Uh. Okay. Okay. I'll just move. Just move. Just move. I hate this. This is that that is the worst thing about this game. How clunky that screen is. Where's Casanova? Who picked this bench? Ridiculous. Is 
Three at the back is okay. Five at the back, pathetic. You'll note three at the back with no wing backs. That's how you do a three at the back. Wing backs make it pathetic. <laughs> I'll be going to two at the back in a minute. Get to the 70 minute mark. Just got to keep pushing forward. Two at the back, both liberos. That's what I want. Come on. Here we go. This feels like a goal. Ah. Ah. Right. We need another striker on here. Oh, this is so annoying. Get in the get in the middle. We want you in the middle. And then you can be out there. So we still need another striker. Err is coming on. Um He can go there. Actually, we want it this way around. Da, da, da. Come on, then. Here we go. Sweeper keeper on attack now, obviously. Let's show we mean business. Come on. Do a football. Oh, we've not got the ball. That will never do. Come on now. Right, that's it. Have the football. See? We're great. We're great. Oh, the one-arm swan's in! Oh, how do you hit the crossbar from there? How do you hit the crossbar from there? Not attacking enough. That's the problem. Right. Let's go really wide in the attack. Ow, Dave, get off my headphones. Get off my headphones, Dave. Shoot on set. Get off my headphone, White Dave. Right, move. 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 You cannot lie on my headphone wire. This dog doesn't understand English. Oh, he's gone back and sat in the same spot. Move. Move. Goodness me. Right. There's not much more we can do here. Other than win. Need to get another striker in. I want to get him up there as a as a target man. And then Whitaker. Can we get another one in here? We must be able to squeeze another one in here. I know he's squeezable. We must be able to get someone in there. There we go. Right. Now we want to aim for the target man. Now we've got one. How'd you do it? Distribute to target, man. Come on, then. How have they got the ball? This should be impossible. Where's our defense? 
Right, he's getting sacked. Oh, what a tackle. He's not getting sacked. We only need one defender. We should do this all season. Come on. Oh, dear. Well. 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 At least we gave it a go. <laughs> Look at these three just stood. What are they doing? And they, but there's three of them there and they still can't pass the football. What the hell just happened? Them three jokers are all getting fired. Just look at these geniuses. Brilliant. The three wise men there at the base of the center circle. My God. <laughs> um, well, not acceptable. <sighs> Never mind. More money. The money's just flowing into the club. Okay, the money went out of the club. I misread the message. Should we have a look at the jobs that are available? I mean, there's not going to be anything interesting until after the new leagues load, so we're actually going to have to wait. Never mind, eh? Cannot believe those three jokers at the end there. I need to identify who the three were and just sack them. I don't want to see this. It's been a very upsetting season. Uh, yeah, that's all good. All lovely. Why is it showing us the Scottish Premiership? We weren't in the Scottish Premiership. How did we get on in the Scottish Premiership? Um, the board are pleased the team challenged for promotion from the Scottish Premiership relegation playoff this season. Well, I'm glad you were. I was also delighted with it. <sighs> Everything went so well until it stopped going well. Oh, budgets. That's eh, not too bad. Um, they want a top half finish next year. We can do that. Especially if we go full time. Um, where are we? Top half finish. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All happy with a top half finish. And then Oh, Reuben Collins won player of the year. That's nice. Look at all those players that made it into the team of the year as well. We should have gone up. There's no excuse really for us not going up. Professional, please. love to go professional we simply can't afford to take on the extra costs involved you've got nearly two million pounds in the bank what can't you afford how much more expensive is being professional going to be we made taxable profits of over a million pounds in the last year i've never been at a club who made a profit before never mind a million pound one get the whole of scotland scouted A lot of players not good enough. Oh my word. Yeah, let's just release all of them then. Rebuild time. We're not going to threaten to quit. I'm having fun at Clyde. They're a nice little club. We'll go up as champions this coming year. And then it'll all be okay. What music is this? This is the Stream Beats playlist. Now I know that I can put the song on the screen by doing that. And it just appears. Matcha. It's named after a Kit Kat. Dun, 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 dun. 
Ah dear, transfers it is then, boys and girls. Let's update the stream name. It's also it's all very sad. What is this? what? Where are we? What what am I streaming on Twitch? That's what it's called. Transfers. Transfers. Oh, very very sad. So, the Scottish playoffs are rubbish, and we may have bottled them. Transfers and job hunting, can't spell, hunting, hunting, for the rest of the stream. Twitch.tv slash Lelujo. Brilliant. Um, by the way, I don't know if you've seen this. I feel the need to show it to you. We got a new review in on our podcast that Sheepdog's obviously delighted with. I can't find it now. Did he not tag me in it, turd? He's a disgrace. He didn't tag me. He didn't tag me in this slander. So this is a review we've got on iTunes of the podcast. Five stars. Kev is an idiot pretending to be a genius. And apparently Sheepdog's a genius pretending to be an idiot. This person, Delilah1863. I mean, I don't feel good about calling you a moron. But you've basically called yourself one in the form of an iTunes review there. You've made a damn fool of yourself. You're living in opposite world, Delilah. Ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Hydrate. I need to after that. I'm stressed. Last cup of last sip of coffee. I think Kev's a genius pretending to be an idiot, pretending to be a genius. Yeah, I'm I operate on multiple levels of pretending. No one knows what I really am. As an English lower league fan who's used to normal playoffs, please can you tell me how much you hate the championship playoffs in Scotland? Pretty like quite a lot just really really favors the premiership team which kind of defeats the purpose of the playoffs doesn't it non-dark mode twitter you're a sick person no, i'm just not a child i'm an adult with old man eyes which means dark mode is stupid <laughs> i used to use dark mode until i turned about 35 and now i just can't read it properly because i've got old man eyes it comes it'll It'll happen to you all. Eventually, dark mode won't work. I have to turn the brightness up massively on the sat-nav at night in the car as well. It's just old man eyes. I'm 30, that explains it. Yeah, give it five years. Give it five years and you'll be losing dark mode. Welcome to Scotland where getting our league set up to, prog to progress is impossible. Yeah, it's mad. Evening, Proteos, and thank you for the sub as well. It's been about seven or eight years, and only two teams have been promoted from the Championship to the Premiership. That's ridiculous. But that's, it is clearly deliberately set up that way to maintain the status quo, isn't it? The fact that they're all professional and we're there as one of the best teams in the Championship is semi-pro. It's just, it's set up to keep the smaller teams down. So this was the end of the season. Already there, Kev. Wait till you need bifocals. Yeah, I'm sure it's coming. Did I fix the toilet? Was I supposed to fix the toilet? Is the toilet broken? I couldn't get to it because it was behind a locked door. What's wrong? Now I need to know what's wrong with the toilet. A lot of leagues around Europe have a relegation promotion playoff thing. Yeah, exactly. I think it kind of defeats the purpose of having a playoff. Pretty much used to be one team going down until 2013 when the playoff was begrudgingly added in the reformation of the leagues. Use bifocals, still on dark mode. You should try light mode. 
Weirdly, I am reading the Twitch chat on dark mode. I think it depends on the brightness of the monitor as well. The brightness of my streaming computer monitor is really, really high. Um, so I can use dark mode on it. So the option is use light mode or just really turn up the brightness. And because I, there's no lights on in this room, apart from the two big studio lamps in front of me. So when I turn them off, the room is completely dark. So um, I need to have I need to have the brightness turned down a bit so that I don't blind myself when I turn the, the, the lamps off. A spuffle had no relegation out of it until a few years ago. Yeah, I remember there not being any relegation out of it. To get anything passed in the Premiership in Scotland, you need to get an 11 to 1 vote between the 12 clubs to pass anything. So when we decided to get playoffs, nobody voted to increase the teams going down. That sounds about right. It's really wild outside, so be lucky if I have electricity tonight. Yeah, it is super windy here. Our bedroom window blew shut earlier as I was getting out of the car earlier. Um, the door blew shut on my leg, which was real comfortable. Loved that. Oh, posture check. There we go. Posture check complete. I'm watching you when eating dinner. What are you having for dinner? Listen to the podcast today. Anna wanted the toilet fixing, I believe. It does sound like something she'd say, but she knows full well. Asking Lelujo to do something, and I am playing the role of Lelujo on the podcast. That doesn't count as asking Kev. She didn't ask me. She asked Lelujo. It was the character of Anna asking the character of Lelujo. If she actually wants it doing, then Annika needs to ask Kevin. And then it will get done. She knows the rules. <laughs> Do you have a Scottish team I like? Peterhead. Because I'm a Peterborough fan and that's the no closest name. Going Spag Bowl. Lovely stuff. I had fajitas. What did everyone else have for tea? Fajita night for me. What did you have? I want to know what everyone had for tea. This is conversation. Chicken korma. Lovely. I delved into the world of Scottish football team nicknames. I know we're called the Bully Wee, which is brilliant. And Fussy Marrow, thank you for the sub. Thank you for getting us back up to 400 subs as well. We've been drift. We've been on the. We've been on the cusp of ever since I had my week off. We lost like a hundred subs when I had my week off, and we've not gained them back. And I've I've not been panicking. You've been panicking. And to see us drop below 400 earlier in the stream, whew, whew, that was a panic, but. Unfussy Marrow getting in there, sorting us out, getting us back above 400 again. Kev can calm down. Why is Amy with me? Amy's not with me. Why are you asking such a weird question? <laughs> Cheeseburger with onion and mushrooms. That sounds amazing. I love mushrooms. Love mushrooms in a burger as well. I always have mushrooms in my burger at Five Guys and everyone thinks I'm weird for it. But mushrooms are just the best food. I've talked before at length about my love of mushrooms. I could live on mushrooms. She's behind me. I mean, you know I can see the camera, right? What's my favourite mushroom? Whichever one's in front of me. I'll just eat anything mushrooms on a burger i mean literally i mean if you go into five guys and ask for i think do they call it all the way if you go to five guys and ask for a burger all i think it's all the way or something five guys is it all the way all the way so they're stand this is the five guys standard way of having a burger has un has mushrooms on it here we go so five guys all the way is mayonnaise, lettuce, dill pickle, tomato, ketchup, mustard, grilled onion, and grilled mushroom. Not weird. It's the way Five Guys intended their burger to be. So it's not weird. It's the correct way to eat a hamburger. See, Kev knows. Am I still vegan? No. We talk about this quite a lot. I'm, I try and I try and minimise my animal products as much as possible, but can't do full vegan because Anna's not a vegan. Mushrooms on burgers are amazing. Exactly. Mushrooms on anything is amazing, really. 
be fair, five guys will put anything on a burger. Yeah, but they're standard all the way. The standard has mushrooms on. So I always have my five guys burger all the way because that's how the five guys intended it. Have the bacon cheese, the, the bacon cheese burger all the way. It's the greatest burger. Actually, it was previously the greatest burger. Since then, I think, I still think I prefer Shake Shack these days, which I know is controversial, but I think Shake Shack. Shake Shack do a better burger and Five Guys do better fries and better shakes, ironically. But Shake Shack is the better burger. You were in my dreams last night, Kev. I mean, we all have those moments. I hope you cleaned up afterwards. Mushrooms are the best, most healthy thing you can have. Love them. I'd have them every day. I mean, to be fair, my favorite way to have them is fried and in butter or like breadcrumbs or something. So there's probably healthier ways I could eat them, but I'll just eat my I'd have mushrooms with every meal. But Anna would get fed up of it. Like tonight, we had chicken fajitas. I could have easily had and have in the past when I was full vegan, I would have mushroom fajitas and love it. Tear up a load of mushrooms. Sprinkle over a little bit of paprika, a little bit of pepper, some olive oil. Just put them under the grill for like 20 minutes so they start to crisp up. And have that as you're filling in your in your fajitas. It's awesome. Owen wants me to look at his youth player. Owen. There he is, down the bottom. Um, eight in, Look, you've got a moustache, Owen. Did you have that before? Eight under 21 caps been on loan at Brentford this season there you go we need to stop letting Charlie have points he checks on his youth player every every stream I need to put a limit of one check per week which I thought I had done um so Barnacle 2 is at Bristol City where he's been oh, in fact he's gone there permanently I thought he was there on loan and Barnacle 1 original flavour Barnacle is at Anorthosi, which seems made up to me. The place in Grimsby called Beast Burger. Their burgers are amazing. Nice. Shake Shack exists in the UK. Yeah, Shake Shack exists in the UK. There's, um, there's at least three of them in London. I think. I certainly know where two are. But Shake Shack is ace. Right, we just signed players on trial. How are, we, how are we doing for monies? Not too bad. Plenty of budget. Surprised to hear Kev knew Five Guys. Why? Five Guys is the best burgers. Or were previously the best burgers until Shake Shack. Does it exist outside London? Does anything exist outside of London? What is the point of outside of London? Weasel Gamer, thank you very much for the sub. There's at least 10 check checks in London and even one in Cambridge. There you go, see? I didn't know there was one in Cambridge. That's just down the road, or used to be just down the road from me. It's a little bit further away now. I exist outside of London. Thank you for the daily existential crisis. I mean, I am outside of London most of the time. But wish I was in inside where I'm supposed to be. Right, we're going to sign this guy. We're just going to keep bringing in players who look good. That's my that's my revolutionary transfer policy for this summer. If we see someone who looks quite good, we're going to try and sign them. But we want them young and with a better haircut than that guy. That's our bar. Lots of old men have turned up on this first batch of trials. There are places outside of London. How long's the flight to said places? I wouldn't bother looking it up. Did we win the league yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, we won the league. We're great. 
Chris Ogilvy can go. Are we looking at jobs? We can't yet because they won't be available yet. We need the new leagues to add on, which they won't until the season ticks over. I've got no interest in going to these places. I could be in London if the pandemic ended and I wish to be on a plane for eight hours. There you go. And then you'd be in the center of the world. Careful on the league. The ghost took charge. Yeah. I'm blaming that ghost for not getting promoted. It ruined everything. Everything was going so well until the ghost distracted me. Dum, dum, ba, ba, dum, 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 dum. And now I've just got my weird lip and I'm sat here constantly thinking I've had a stroke. But I'm pretty sure if I'd had a stroke, I'd have more than a little bit of a fat lip, which I must have just bitten my lip at dinner or something. Absolutely buzzing for born in the USA. When does it start? Probably. Probably it will start on Monday the 22nd. It might be ready for this coming Monday the 15th. But if I don't get it ready for this Monday, it'll be the 22nd. New York City is both larger than London and more financially significant. Yeah, but it's further away and I've not been there. Therefore, not interested. you got to remember the whole universe revolves around me and my perspective. So if I've not been somewhere, I don't even know for sure that it exists. For me, New York City might as well be Gotham City. Or Atlantis. It's just this mythical place that exists in stories, but I've never actually been there. So I haven't verified its actual existence. Whereas London, been there a lot, verified its existence. It's real. Would I visit New York City? Um, if I had a load of cash burning a hole in my pocket, yeah. Probably after the kids are grown up and gone, so I don't have to buy five tickets. Or well, it'd be down to four now, because Lucy, Lucy's an adult. But we, I, me and Anna plan to travel across America when we're... Like, like five years' time, maybe, when the kids are all gone. And we've saved up a bit of cash. The plan has always been for us to just spend like six months traveling around America. There is a Gotham just outside Nottingham. It is, however, not a city. So, not really Gotham City. But it is cool. The local buses going to Gotham. It's certainly the last time I was up that way. The local buses heading to Gotham have a, have a bat symbol on the sign, which is cool. London's an illusion cave. You've been hoodwinked by the Middlesex Illuminati. Nice. Route 66 is not worth it. I don't even, don't even know what that means. How much of this American tour revolves around amazing, how amazing their barbecue looks? Quite a lot. We'll spend, I mean, the plan, I've talked about it quite a lot, but the plan is basically we'll buy flights to one coast. I don't know which coast we'd start on. Wherever the cheapest Winnebago's are, probably. We'll fly to one coast, buy a Winnebago, find out how long a visa we can get. And then plan a route from one side to the other in our Winnebago that takes the exact length of our visa to do. And then sell it on the last day and leave again. There'd be the odd time when we we're in cities that we'd have to leave the Winnebago outside of the city for a few nights and go and stay in a hotel. But yeah, just want to go and see everything. Get yourself on the A47. I'm very familiar with the A47 and the A52. I've seen them both mentioned. I take your Route 66 and raise you the A303. I'm not familiar with the A303. Tell me about that. What's great about the A303? Who the hell's this guy? I don't want some trash goalkeeper that I didn't even offer. I raise you all the M6 toll. I've never been on the M6 toll. Never had reason to. The A303 runs past Stonehenge. Uh, too far south then. 
I don't really have a reason to be that far southwest. There's no reason to be down there. How long has the stream been sponsored by Nord? About a month now. In fact, I know it's a little over a month because we did February as a trial and then we extended for three months for March, April, May. So we're in for a little while with them now. And hopefully it will extend beyond that. Love a sponsor around these parts. Sponsors are great. Kev loves money. We've got to pay for this U US trip I've just described. I need Nord in for the long haul. Snake Pass connecting Oldham to Sheffield is a good road. Only us Brits can run two main roads past one of its most historical sites. Surely everyone does that. Surely every every country has roads near their historical and touristy places. Perfect weather, Cubs baseball is an experience. Neighborhood festivals are terrific. Gambling Blues, thank you for the sub and the recommendation to go to Chicago. Chicago in June and July is the best of America. Perfect weather. What, what does perfect weather mean? I hope it doesn't mean hot. I want to try and avoid heat as much as possible. Um, we've got no jobs available. Did those other leagues add on? No, not yet. That's why. Or some of them haven't. So it looks like we're sticking in Scotland for a little while. Love your intentional mispronunciations. I don't mispronounce things. How dare you? How dare you? I need your help on what biscuits to open. Chocolate chunk cookies or lemon shortbread? Um, I'd go for the chocolate ones. I don't think I've ever had lemon shortbread. Shortbread's such a perfect food that you don't really need to lemon it up, I don't think. So I'd go for the chocolate ones just as a way to send a message to shortbread that it doesn't need lemon. Right, a couple more trialists in. Let's have a little look at them. Finn Yeats. See, bags of potential there, so we'll have a bit of that. These are the kind of players we're after this summer. High current ability, high potential, young, will get better. Typical Kev players. 48 caps for New Zealand at age 22. He's played more international football than club football. That is amazing. I want him. He'd only be a fringe player. I don't want him anymore. I only wanted him as a novelty. If he's not going to be a first teamer, no longer interested. You should attend a college football and basketball game when you travel here. I absolutely should not. I like football and wouldn't travel to a football game that didn't involve posh. I can't think of a more boring way to spend time than watching a sport I have no interest in being played between two teams I have no affiliation with. And Anna would find it even more boring than me. Trying to give up smoking. I always put weight on when I give up. Been vaping for a month. Lost nearly the stone. Nice. College football's worth watching. Closest atmosphere to a true football derby. Yeah, but I'm not interested in atmosphere and stuff like that unless it's my team. I genuinely wouldn't be interested. I'd just be bored. I'd just sit there on my Switch playing Mario. <laughs> Kev will be hanging out with the rich and famous in LA. Absolutely. First time I've been under 20 stone in three years. Well done. That is awesome. One day I'll hopefully join you. If you use the atmosphere as the selling point, the sport can't be great. That's a very good point. Is there anything you really want to see on my travels? And um, there's lots of things I want to taste. Um, I just want to go and experience the cities, the bigger cities. Like I want to, I want to go to New York. I want to go to San Francisco. I want to go to New Orleans. Um, I want to go to Vegas. I want to eat lots of barbecue. I want to go to all of the Disneyland, Disney World places. Um, yeah, that basically. 
Not sure they'd let you bring the Switch into the stadium or arena. Well, let, let's not worry, because I won't be going in anyway. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice to catch WrestleMania while I'm there, if I can get, if I can somehow convince Anna that that's a reasonable way to spend part of our trip. Go and catch a WrestleMania, that'd be amazing. I don't think I'll get away with that one. to Alcatraz and roll like that that'll justify her entire degree look at her a prison island I have a degree in criminology it's a prison island Anna <laughs> she'll, be, she'll be well up for that you should do Mardi Gras I should do Mardi Gras take her somewhere she wants to go and then you can go to wrestling it just needs to be um we need to have it in a year where it's near somewhere like Disney. They need to, we need to plan it for a year when WrestleMania is in Florida or LA or somewhere. And I can just put her in a Disney park for the evening. <laughs> Here's a Disney park. Here's my credit card. Enjoy yourself. I'll pick her up after the wrestling. In LA next year. Yeah, I, this isn't anything that can happen for at least five years. Because, I mean, I need to be basically... It's To me, it's almost going to be like my retirement from YouTube trip. Once, YouTube, once it gets to the point where it's clear I'm coming to the end of my run on YouTube, we'll do one last six-month blowout and head to America, and then I'll go back... Get, then I'll come back and get a real job until I can retire properly. I couldn't take six months off of YouTube and expect it to still be something I could come back to when I got back. So I'm not going to be doing it anytime soon. As long as I do it before I'm 50, I'm fine. You never be going to America then. Oh, I will be. We were talking about this the other night. I don't think... I, I'd be surprised if I've got 10 more years left in me in content creation. I'll be too old. 10 years time, I'll be 48. I can't be a 48-year-old YouTuber. That's ridiculous. I've done five years. If I can get another five out, another five out of it, then I think that'll be, I think that'll be a good run. Fit by forty, America by fifty, exactly. I mean, I'd like to think there'll be shorter trips between now and then. Like, I'd, I'd like to think I could start going to VidCon when that's up and running again. That was the plan for last year. Last summer, we were going to VidCon in Anaheim. And we were going to go to Disney while we were there. And we were going to have a week out there, get an Airbnb. It was going to be brilliant. And then, obviously, we couldn't. <laughs> In 10 years' time, I'll be 40 and I'll need to watch someone play FM31. I'll see what I can do. Some YouTubers are in their 60s or 70s. I point you towards the two rocking grannies reaction channels. Yeah, but are they grinding out? hundred videos a month would I mean I don't do that now but I could I can't keep up my current pace forever let's change it to that way I could maybe see myself doing five videos a week one stream a week and doing that long term but I don't really need the money anymore just because I enjoy doing it I can't imagine ever giving it up completely but the current pace I'm at now it is not a sustainable long-term pace jobs we'll have a quick look at the jobs i'm not that desperate to get one um they're all in wales what the hell is this the whole of wales is available but nothing else chris thank you very much for the sub Right, we probably need to bring in some free transfers. It is the 3rd of July and we've not really done anything in the way of transfers yet. To be honest, we've brought in a couple of players and I'm happy with them. So 
I'm not that desperate to bring in loads of players because I think our squad is pretty good as it is. It's not like we've got huge gaping gaps in this lineup. We're a pretty good side. But we have got a little bit of money burning a hole in our pockets. So we could probably take some free transfers on trial. We'll just do one round. And I'm not bringing in anyone over the age of 24. Because it's just too old. There's no point. I don't want old men. We should try and get Delcroy back, I suppose. Might be time to go back in for him. Right, young men only. So everyone from him down. Sean Ruffin. <laughs> what a name. Linford Sackey. These are some great names. Dane Murray. That's a made-up name as well. And then we've got Ray Stovall. Mike Micah Hamilton! my boy I'm absolutely bringing Micah Hamilton in we know just how good Micah Hamilton can be boys in let's try for delcroy as well delcroy the return of delcroy he's coming back ethan delcroy's coming home boys and girls beautiful what a stunning piece of business this is going to turn out being we had him at Hanesley. We had him at Clyde. We sold him. He's played half a season in the Scottish Premiership and he's going to come back on a free transfer. That, boys and girls, is business. That's business right there. Business. Um, let's just see if there's any more freebies that we've got knocking around on here that we can bring in. So unattached players who are 23 and younger. Who are already good enough for the first team. That's really what we're looking for. So we want these top guys on here. Kevinomics. Signed him three times, not made a penny, made a big profit on him. It's, it's beautiful. Reminds me of when I was a when I was a kid, Posh had a player called Ken Charlery, who played for us three times. Every time he came to us for almost no money and we kept selling him on for big money. And then he flop. I think we originally... I can't remember. The, I think we originally sold him to Watford for like 100,000, which was a lot of money for us at the point. He flopped, came back to us on a free transfer. Then I think we sold him to Birmingham. Again for big money. Got him back quite cheap. Then did he go to Barnet the third time? Boston paid money for Ken Charlie from Barnet for like 25k when he was 34. Worth every penny though. Ken Charlie is brilliant. One of my favourite players ever, Ken Charlie. Right. So there's some good players who've turned up here. Where's Hamilton? Here he is. It's only Micah Hamilton. Oh, he's been wasted at Bournemouth. In you come, Micah. We'll make you feel at home. <laughs> Micah Hamilton. A Greek striker. See, we could never find anyone like this when we were at Apollon. A young Greek striker who could come straight into our first team. What is this guy for? Feels like he needs to... He needs to pick a role. It's another Colonel Sanders all over again. I'm a libero. No, you're not, Liam. You are not a libero because you're English. That means you're absolutely, under no circumstances, 
ever going to be a libero. Even if you think you could be the best libero in the world, you're never going to play a game of football as one. I am going to sign you though, because I like having a libero around the place. Dane Murray. Nah, we don't need two. We've got Delcroy coming in. Jim Much. Yes, please. That's what people will be saying to me a month after the gyms are opened. Oh, Kev, Jim Much. Yes, I do. I'm going every day again. Loving it. Um. So Murray can play centre back too. Yeah. We got all of them, plus Delcroy. That uses up most of our wages. When do we go professional in the home series? I think when we hit the Football League. Libero in the Scottish Championship, exactly. I love I love these headlines. Bully we edged out in tight contest. It's like a title of a porn video. Glad you're getting out of the lockdowns. We're still here with no end in sight. I had an email from Centre Parks earlier saying they're reopening on, I think, the 12th of April. Immediately said to Anna, are we going to Centre Park? I just need to get out. I need a, I need a holiday. You got strange porn. <laughs> um, I want to go to Centre Park, so. Dev may not, may not look Spanish, but he likes to convince people he is. Exactly. We're not, it's going to be the same old story. We're not going to get any of these players because they're going to go to real football clubs rather than to the part-timers in Scotland. That's a shame. What did I teach when I was a teacher? Children. Oh, he's, on, he's in form tonight. Oh, Kev. Oh, he can live in the same house he lives in when he's at home. Join the stream, as Kev said, porn. You're welcome. We're in lockdown till May in Ireland, so no chance of getting out. I mean... What? Just try again, then. And we'll just keep trying until he decides to come and sign for us. <laughs> du, 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 du. Ba, 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 ba. Right, come on, we want Delcroy. We want Delcroy. We want Delcroy. Fleming redeemed checking on his player. Did he, by golly? Oh yes, so he did. So he did. Should probably do that. Thank you, Alan. Um, who am I looking at? Fleming. Fleming. All caps. Manchester United, no less. What a hair and beard combo. I want to go for this look, but Anna won't let me. He's all right, isn't he? What is he? 22 years old. Actually playing for Manchester United. Good work, Fleming. If we get any of these players we're in for at the moment, I'll be flabbergasted. Oh, hydrate. Where's my can? Oh, hydrate. Did I win the playoffs? I'm afraid not. Personally, think you Brits will be back in lockdown by April 15th. It's going to be another 18, 36 months before this ends. Remember, though, we've, um, we're have we getting the vaccines out quick. So hopefully they work. Posture check. The theory is that obviously COVID's not going to go away, but once the majority of people are vaccinated, it just becomes a thing. It's like the flu. It's it's not we're not going to need to lock down because the vaccine then takes the place of the lockdowns. I think that's the general theory of it. Yeah, I've had my first vaccination. Yeah, had it a couple of weeks ago. I think it's something like 20, 22, 23% of people have had their first jab now in the UK. 
we may have ballsed up a lot over the course of the pandemic but this seems to be the one thing we are doing well we're getting people vaccinated it's up to a third now is it wow i mean my figures are a little out of date obviously i guess oh here he comes delcroy's home see 33 percent of people having had it that's impressive work Whatever you think about the government, and I'm not going to express an opinion on the government one way or the other, but getting a third of the country to have a vaccine, that's quite impressive, doing it that quickly. Austria's completely failing the whole vaccination thing. The EU in general just messed every single step up. Yeah, maybe there was a positive to Brexit after all. <laughs> um, yeah, our worry is the whole of the uk is going to open back up again and we're still gonna to have to tell andy why we can't go to disneyland paris yeah you don't want to know what the french have done andy it's a disaster over there so that's why oh we don't get our sell-on clause for delcroy anymore that's a shame oh, oh so happy to have him back but um yeah that's why we're looking at center parks as a potential thing because he really enjoyed it when we went there we all enjoyed it when we went to center parks just a fun holiday. So if we can't can't do Disney anytime soon, maybe we'll do Centre Parks. Ross County are trying to get their revenge on me by taking Casanova away now. Yeah, I've seen the graphs of the vaccine and stuff, yeah. I think it's now the 50 to 60 year olds being vaccinated. Oh, he's a terrible siding, but we needed a backup goalkeeper. I think a lot depends on the area. In some areas, they're pretty much doing everybody now, I think. Would he accept an unrestricted trip to London as an alternative? Probably, yeah. I think Centre Parks is probably a safer option at this stage. I don't... I, don't, I mean, I know we did London last summer. Mashi Moo, thank you very much for the sub. But obviously London, you've got to travel on the tube. There's going to be people not following the rules. Right? I just feel like Centre Parks is a little bit more self-contained. And as a first trip might be ideal. Everyone will want to go to Centre Parks. So it could be busy. It's true. Book up quick. Why not going to the countryside? Because the countryside's boring, boredom, boredom land. Bory, bory, boring. What is this doing in the countryside? Oh, look, there's grass and trees. Boring. We need things to do. Both for me and for Andy. Yeah, we want buildings and machines and noise and hustle and bustle. And all action, constant things going on, things to look at, things to do. Do I have more information about board in the USA that I can tell you? Uh, what, what information would you like to know? I mean, I obviously have lots of information. What would you What would you like to know? We're not getting any of these players, by the way. We're going to try another batch of trials. Perhaps a slightly less ambitious one this time, maybe. It's that first lot. All of them have gone to play in England. Which is most unfortunate. Have they been to England? England's a dump. One of them's just agreed to go to Peterborough. Who wants to go to Peterborough? It's horrible there. Right. Oh, look. All the young ones are already on trial with us. Benny Butterhouse. I mean, I want to sign him just for his name. Is there anyone any good? Liam, Liam Blake is still here on trial, is he? So we might still get him. Damien Grant. Let's try for him. Not going to get him. I think we might be making do with what we've got here. We'll try for Dane Murray as well. We're going to the next rung down on quality. We'll try for Walt Joseph as well. Look at all this nonsense that he's up for. 
No nonsense for you, Walt. Your name's Walt, for goodness sake. You'll get what you're given. Should we try for Ruffin as well? No, because he's a fringe player. We looked at him before. Don't want no fringe players. Sean Duncan. Come on then, Sean. Shawnee D. Just want bodies through the door. That's what we're looking for here. When will it start? What, born in the USA? It'll either be this coming Monday or the Monday after. I'm not sure. Have I announced the other thing I was doing on YouTube before Born in the USA? No, because I'm still not sure I'm definitely doing it. Because I might be starting Born in the USA next week. We'll see. Is it MLS? No. Am I restructuring the American Leagues with a database? Yes. Am I setting up a Born Academy club? I don't know what that means. So probably no. Not all of England is a dump. Plus it could be worse. Imagine living in Scotland. I've never been to Scotland. I imagine it's lovely. You have to wait until May then, Kev, as most things at Centre Park are staying shut through April. We'd probably wait. Anna's got a week off work in May that we've had sort of penciled in as a potential Disney trip for a year, which obviously isn't going to happen now. Um, so it would be in May that we'd want to go anyway. Yeah, Hamilton went to Peterborough, I know. It's very sad. We're about to start in the Betfred Cup again because it's so stupid and takes up the whole summer. We're not going to get any of these boys. This is a frustrating summer, isn't it? Although we've got three, what, two good players have come in there. How many loans have we got? Can we get Andy Reid back again? I feel like we could do with Andy Reid coming back in. Ha! Poor sad young Kev. Oh, he still looks so sad. Should we sign poor sad young Kev? Can we have him on loan? Cheer him up. No. Andy Reid, the little fat moron. Let's try and get him again. Come on, Andy. Beck, you come. You know it makes sense. Is it the same premise as the Bourne series, but in the USA? explain I mean all football manager saves are basically the same premise as the Bourne series I'm managing a team and trying to win stuff with them uh, I went to Disneyland Paris as a kid but it bored me because there were no rides for me now I'm older I feel silly for going there alone I feel I, I mean I don't really do rides I, I'm not in it for the rides. I like It's a Small World. I like the song. Um, but, yeah, I don't really go to Disney for the rides. I just like the atmosphere. It's not a baseball team save. I'm afraid it's not, no. <laughs> Should we do a baseball save? I'll just tell everyone it's baseball. That's probably the easiest thing. Just tell you all it's baseball. Am I going for a build a nation style safe similar to a pollen? Yes. Yeah, I would say it's got more in common with a pollen than Born from last year. It's basically the Apollon save, but rather than managing a pollen, it's a new team called Born. And rather than it being in Greece, it's in America. But without the nonsense that is the MLS. Get lost, Ross County. Ah, oh, talk to Ethan. He's just left there. He was there a year. Talk to Ethan. There you go. Good work. What's actually wrong with the MLS? I mean, how long have you got? <laughs> no promotion and relegation. Transfers are dumb. Drafts are dumb. All the stupid rules are dumb. It's just dumb. I want real football. They call it soccer. I never went on rides at Disney. Me and my dad used to walk around and look at all the cool stuff. Yeah, exactly. That's what I like. Am I planning on going to the Paramount theme park, which is scheduled to open in 2022 in Kent? Yes. 
Let me guess. The new MLS is going to join the Champions League as well, isn't it? No. Is Zealand going to be my assistant? No. I need a good assistant who knows what they're doing. Will I at least change the currency to dollars? Probably not. Because apparently you have to change it back and forth every time you open, you move from one save to the next. You can't have the currency specific to one save. And I can't be bothered to change it to pounds every time a player's home and then back to dollars every time a player's born. I'll just forget. So what am I trying to win? Football matches. And then competitions. It's in America, so obviously we're trying to become world champions by winning the American League. Posture check. What competition is just MLS? There is no MLS. <laughs> Mark Quinn, I think, coming aboard in the USA. Well, he needs something to do. Now he's not, a, not, not at home anymore. Oh, slight home spoiler. But not really a spoiler, because I'll forget to tell you in a video, because it's such a minor thing that I'll just forget in the heat of a video. Slam dunks in as youth coach. Very happy with that. And I will forget to mention it in a video. Um, hydrate and posture check. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I look forward to you winning the CONCACAF Champions League. No American team has ever won that. Um, that is also a redesigned custom competition. Can he teach the corner routine? That's what I'm hoping. Right. Where's Del Croy? There he is. Is he not our best player anymore? Nah, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Boom. Um, other restructured US leagues based on club rep? Uh, um, sort of, yeah. Who's done the database for Bourne? Um, it's a group effort. All will be revealed in episode one. More than one person has been involved in making it. How long do I ten, intend the Bourne in the USA save to last? Um, it'll probably be my longest save of the year, I would think. I'd be surprised if it was less than 150 episodes. Who's making my database and am I paying them? I mean, does it matter if I'm paying them? Do you need to know if I'm paying them? Put it this way, my local club was placed at tier nine and that sounds about right. incoming three episodes and the database breaks i mean i've tested it a lot and i've got some other people who are going to be testing it in the next day or two that's one of the reasons why it probably won't start this coming monday <laughs> kyle thinks it matters that's because kyle's one of the people working on it i'm paying you by letting you be a mod kyle what more could you want That's payment enough. You get to mod the channel. My, I tell you what, Kyle, I'll send you a, I'll send you a born shirt when they're being made. How's that for payment? Bum 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 bum. Have I started filming it yet? No. Will I make Chivas my rivals? Um, I haven't really thought about that. Probably not. That's a quite cool idea. I might do. I might check. I might add that in. Am I going to release it so that you can play along eventually, but not straight away because there's some Easter eggs in it that I don't want people to go and find before I'm ready for them to be revealed? Have I done the giveaway for the Arsenal shirt yet? No. It'll be in one of the it will be in one of the videos this week. I'm not going to tell you which one because I want people to actually watch them. Does it include any inflatables in the first episode? Probably not. <coughs> it's too cold for inflatables at this time of year. When are the home shirts being delivered? Um, ages yet. Like, if I, I'm assuming you've ordered one, if you're asking. So, like it said, when you ordered, um, pre-orders closed on Sunday, and it's then 
usually about four to five weeks after that because they once the pre-orders close then they go off the order goes off to the factory to be made and then once they're made that's when we can send them out i did ask if they could send them out before they were made but apparently that was me being unreasonable so you're gonna have to wait for them to be made i'm afraid why is kyle joseph back how is this a thing this is really what it's become Is the green screen getting an outing? No, it doesn't fit in my office. I should probably sell the green screen, really. If it wasn't for the fact the streamer showdown keep asking me to do stuff on green screen for their promo stuff, and then I have to set it up in the living room and move the camera and the lights and everything into the living room. It's a whole thing doing photos and little clips for the streamer showdown. That's the only time I use the green screen now. Did I ask for the draft print on the Bond USA shirt? I didn't. But request a kit knows me. Too cold for inflatables. Is it warm enough to wear shorts? That is exactly the time of year we're in. Yes. Can I put in a special request to have mine sent off before it's made? Absolutely. How much do green screens usually cost? It depends if you get the fancy Elgato one that I've got or just a green cloth. You can buy a green cloth and a pole to hang it off for like 20 quid on Amazon, probably. My fancy Elgato one was two, about 200 quid, I think. The home shirt Christmas decorations I got in a giveaway and now I have a permanent home on my desk. That's awesome. What part of the US is Bourne based in? There's a town called Bourne in Massachusetts. I'm just on the edge of Cape Cod. So that's where the club is based. How did the pre-order number for home shirts go down? I would like to see. Um, we pro we sold over 200 shirts, which is the most we've ever sold in one go before. So it's the best shirt selling situation. This is a sentence. It was the best run we've ever done. So yes, there will be more runs this year. Not necessarily of home. There'll be a run of the born shirts probably in a month or two. I'm likely to wait for the home shirts to be dispatched before we open pre-orders for the born ones. Um, but I might not. I might do it sooner. I'm not sure. I need to leave a long enough gap for people to be able to afford the next one as well because I know it does take the PP a little bit to have new merch dropping every month or two and expecting people to be able to buy it all. So it'll be a little while, but the next one will be born shirts. I've already got that arranged. Um, I'm just having the vector designs finished off now so we can get some 3D renders up. And um, yeah, Hope and Glory are on board for a run of them. And then depending on how they go, we'll dictate if we do a third run this year. Last year, we did three print runs with Hope and Glory. We did Born, then Home, then Home and Born, I think, last year. I think we did them both simultaneously to finish off the year. So there's a chance we'd do that again probably late summer i would i would imagine we'll probably do born shirts late april early may and then a final run where we do all six shirts available together probably august september time we can have a look for jobs no no jobs Right, squad submitted. And it's looking delicious. Can I check Eddie Edwards after the game? He redeemed checker player. I can. Eddie Edwards is in the Wolves under 23s and has played one game last season in the Premier League. Beautiful. But it's in Massachusetts. Does that mean John Cena is a coach? um if he is you won't be able to see him anyway i mean that is that, i've been planting the seeds for that for a little while because if you look on my wide camera you'll notice there's two pop vinyls in frame there's john's john cena is there and then there's me above him john cena kev so maybe maybe i've been sending you a message for months while they've been sat there. it's not been months but for all the time they've been sat there together perhaps that's been a message I think the leagues are all loaded up, but they've all got managers. I only see one pop figure there. 
Exactly. Andy reads back. Hey. 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 Andy Reid. Love him. He loves me. Beautiful. He's not really good enough. I just like having him around. It's just like having a having a punch bag. I take out my frustration on him. Bruce Springsteen needs to be involved. I've asked him. Doesn't seem up for it at the moment. Um, I wonder if I've got an easy way of showing you the intro for Born yet. I probably haven't. Because it's not been fully rendered down yet. It's still like a six gig file size currently. I do have an intro. Um, let me see. This might work. Don't know if this is going to work. It might be super, super clunky. Um, but I'll try and show you it. If it's really clunky, ignore it. But it might just work. Right, let's mute for a minute. <laughs> Why didn't that have sound or did that have did you hear sound i didn't hear sound let me play that again um so you heard sound but i didn't hear sound sorry i don't know what it's because all my audio comes through this PC. That's where the Go XLR is, but the file's on this PC. So apologies for it being really, really, really loud. But yeah, that's the intro. So I'm very excited. I didn't make it. I'm not capable of making all that kind of stuff. It doesn't say born in the USA. It doesn't need to. Does the music not give you a clue as to, and the flag? Are they not enough of a, a clue? Who designed the football badge? Um, Gunner Designs on Twitter did it. He made the original Born one last year and amended it for me. And then the intro itself was by a chap called David Carter, who might even be in here. Because he does watch. He's got a he's got a name in the game channel player on home. He's our reserve goalkeeper in the home series. He is here. Excellent. Yeah, he made the intro. Uh, the Latin was lifted straight from Born Town in the UK. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's all shaping up to be a lot of fun, this save. Should sign Trump's son for Born. He's good enough. He's in. Is he actually in the game? Did I miss the intro reveal? I'm afraid so. Ah, oh, there you go. He is in. Glad people like it. It is awesome. I really like it. So yeah, big props to the Davy Do. Who made the intro for me, because he's a hero. I'm gonna have to send him a Born shirt as well, aren't I? Born shirts for everyone! Who directly contributed to the series. Um, but yeah, I'll get I'll sort you out for shirt as well. Shirts all round, if you actually contributed to the series. <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. Still waiting for Home and Away in Australia. It's been in my ideas book for a long time. Send a shirt to Zealand. He's never sent me one of his shirts. If he wants one of my shirts, he should send me one of his. 
He's the one with a proper merch store, Mr. Fancy Pants. I do mine in one-off print runs. <laughs> Can you add a bit at the end with your bum in jeans and an American handkerchief out the back pocket? Um, David, can we do... No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're absolutely not going to do that. Sweet home Alabama. Now that... I mean... I do feel like I probably should have come up with that one myself. And then I could have killed two birds, two birds with one stone this year. If the US... If I suddenly get a load of new American subscribers because I'm born in the USA, you now know for sure Sweet Home Alabama is coming <laughs> next season. That'll be my first series on FM22. Just to keep the Americans happy. Born shirts for everyone that helped. That's the whole of my last month's income. I know. There's... I, I, I did count up. There's like eight or nine people working on the new series at the moment or have worked on it. It's, um, if it's not the best thing I've ever done, then I am completely misjudging what makes a good Football Manager series. And I don't think I am. I think it's going to be the culmination of everything I've been learning over the last five years and all of the improvements I've made in the last year. They're all being poured into this series. And it's going to be fantastic. Apart from the streamer show, then do I, do I have a collab with Zealand or any of the others, perhaps? You seem... You lot seem to enjoy each other's company. Um, I've never done anything off the showdown with Zealand, I don't think. I've done stuff with Ben and Jack. Um, quite a lot of stuff with Ben and Jack over the years. Um, but most of everyone else involved in the showdown is fairly new to me. I've known Ben and Jack for a long time. Um, but the rest, I guess Foxy, I've known for quite a long time. Dave has a party, I've known for quite a long time. And the Wii, all the Wii Stream FM, like Nerdphonic and all them, I've known for a long time. Um, but a lot of the newer guys in the, in the showdown, I've only really known through the showdown. And we've not really had much of an opportunity to do anything outside of the show. I guess we could have done more, like, standalone videos and things, but... To my mind, the only real way for me to collab with someone is to do a draft video. And you, I don't want to overdo the drafts. We do a showdown once a month. Ben's got his draft series. Me and Jack did some draft stuff. I think working through everyone else in the showdown doing one-off drafts gets a bit samey. Um, but I'd like to do something with Zealand at some point. It's just coming up with something that we could do together because we, we do such different types of content. Like, I couldn't go on his rating new gens series or his fix my save series or any of that kind of stuff because I don't do anything close to the way he does it. He'd, he'd ask me to rate new gens and talk about attributes, and I'd be like, I don't know, what's the star rating? Five star potential, sign him. That's me rating new gens. <laughs> ben gave me a shout at his GTA role playing last night. Do I need to try this GTA role play thing? Ben seems all in on it. Is it going to be the next big thing? Is it already the big thing? Is it the new Among Us? Are we all going to be doing it soon? Do I need to get practicing so I don't look like an absolute numpty when it comes time to me play it? Nah. Okay. Thank you. I like that. That's important feedback. Seems you're pretty good at the game. Maybe Z could explain to the rest of us how you do it. I mean, that actually might be an interesting video. I don't know if he knows, though. So I think I kind of, I think I baffle him. I think I confuse him. So I do everything so differently to what he does. Nick, com Nick's completely missing the point of why we've picked Born in the USA and Sweet Home Alabama. I didn't sit there going through Bruce Springsteen's back catalogue thinking, right, what's his best song? Now let's try and make a Football Manager series out of it. It's a famous song and the team's called Home or Born. Turned on, turn it on to see Ben failing a driving test on GTA. Brilliant. A saving safe series New Zealand would be fun because of the different approach you two have with FM. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll do something at some point, I'm sure. I'm still expecting him to invite me over for tea when I do my American tour. 
I expect to have dinner with the Zealands. When's my next clinic? I don't know. I don't, do we need another one? I feel like if I did a, if I did another one, it'd just be me saying the same stuff all over again. Just seems full of wannabe gangsters. I mean, I'm the original gangster, so there's no use. I mean, I'm not a wannabe. I wouldn't fit in. He's a numbers guy. You seem to play seem to play more of intuition. Exactly. I'm a natural. I'm a football manager savant, whereas he's uh, he's learnt his skills. I couldn't I couldn't tell you how I do what I do. I just do it. Kev! Yeah, I'm a wonder kid. I love that. <laughs> we should do a rate my wonder kid, and the wonder kid he's got a rate is me. Can you even name another Leonard Skinner? No, of course I can't, because I couldn't care less about Leonard Skinner. Because it's trash music. <laughs> but, you know, famous song and all that. Will I be in the next streamer showdown? Yes. How do they decide what streamers want to get involved? Um, we all, like, make a sacrifice to Dr. Benji. And based on whoever he, whoever sacrifice he values the most, they get in. So we send him gifts. Um, you know, we do rituals and stuff. And then he picks. But yeah, I'm. I was the first name announced for season three. I was officially announced before Neron was even announced. I'm claiming in my claiming my invite that I didn't cash in for season two. Winner stays on this year. I'm still the reigning champion. But it was literally a willy waving contest i mean we're all people who spend our days sitting at home playing football manager do you think any of us have got very much to wave we're all basically different variations of the comic book guy of the simpsons <laughs> we're that cool do enjoy that you give them a chance to win every now and again by having a month off exactly i'm nothing if not a generous man that guy's called wadge i want us i want wadge anna's gonna anna's gonna storm in now you want what i want john wadge it's a great name wadgy I know he's going to tell me off. I know. I just, I've got my window open again tonight. I just like the idea of my neighbours hearing me yell, I want wadge. <laughs> just spat water over my new 4K monitor. Thanks for that, Kev. You're welcome. I spill drinks over my monitors all the time. I spilled a can of Coke over my GoXLR. It's a sturdy piece of kit. I'll tell you that. Either that, or you've not been able to hear me properly all evening. I've been streaming like this all evening, not noticed that it had all gone wrong. Dupe! Dupe heard we had Wadge and he's in. Thank you for the raid, Dupe. Welcome to the, uh, I forget what we call you. The Dupesters. Look at everyone coming in to look at Wadge. Have I signed it? Oh, as a party's in. Doesn't even know. I mean, have you had a have you had a pie yet, Dave? The Dupets. I thought that was his backing band. Dave has a party, doesn't know what a Frey Bentos pie is, folks. Can you believe that? Andy owns a panini maker. The t those two pieces of information combined tell you everything you need to know about Dave has a party. And he's now got a sub. Thank you to Nick. It's beautiful. You can get your nuts out now, Dave. Lovely stuff. Right, what are we doing here? How are you doing anyway? Have you been playing your um, your network save again? Is that why you've turned up as a group? Safety in numbers. We need a little dupe and a little Dave to go with little Jack and little Kates and little Zealand, don't we? That we can welcome little dupe in when he raids me. Dun, dun, dun. 
Are we going to score a goal in this game? What is going on? We've been all right in this competition the last couple of years. Or maybe a caveman, but Kev can't complain about me too much. I never said being a caveman was a bad thing. I just like to play. I respect your caveman in it, man in, man in this. Um, don't, don't live to regret this moment. It's Berwick away in the Betfred Cup first round. I don't think anyone's going to have many regrets, but we'll do that team talk anyway. My wife doesn't even welcome little doop in anymore. Oh, doop. Doopy, doopy, doopy. Bum, bum, bum. Dante Casanova! Here we go. You need one for all who work on a streaming showdown and play it. I do have a whole cupboard full of fugglers. Because <laughs> they went out of production, I went into the toy shop and bought all of them. So I've got like 25 of these all boxed and yeah, so I could have, they're not as fluffy, they're not as cuddly as Clates or as big as Jack. In fact, I thought, is this a, this might be an action, oh it's not, I thought it was an action figure version of Little Jack. But I have got loads of these little ones, so this could be Little Dupe maybe. I don't really want to unbox him though. Dupe, do you mind living in a box? Little Dupe. What's Little Zealand got to say about that? Ah, I see Little Zealand. Lovely. Get back over there. Beautiful. The one armed swan. Yeah, it's the one armed swan. The one armed swan. The one armed swan is our hero. Lockdown's got to Kev. Look, I haven't. I've lived in this house for nearly six months. I've not left it yet. So, yeah, it's all going a bit wrong. Come on, boys. Ah! Oh, I just dropped my pen on my right testicle. Ow! Oh. The pointy bit of the pen. Right. This is why I should wear jeans. Oh, I might have dislocated it. Oh, my eyes are watering a little bit. Oh, God, that that was really quite sore. <laughs> How hard is the pen? Oh, where is it? It's my YouTube pen. Ugh, why is it covered in dog hair now? Now everyone thinks I've got really long, straight, grey pubes. Ugh. I didn't just root that out of my scrotum. That was off of the floor where Dave has deposited lots of hair, apparently. It's my little YouTube pen. Oh, that hurt. Did we win? Lovely. Oh. Ah. It really hurts. You don't have long grey pubes. No, Dave, I don't have long grey pubes. They're, sh they're short. Looking for that Manscaped sponsorship. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I love the fact that Automod is stopping everyone saying pubes. We're not allowed to say pubes on the internet. Get lost, Ross. I'm so... <laughs> I love the title of that clip. All point pen. Very good, Scotty. Very good. Scotty gets a... Scotty can have a... Can have a, a polo as a reward for his excellent use of wordplay. It's throbbing down there now. This really hurts. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. If you had long grey pubes, that may have cushioned the blow. I would suggest, I mean, is anyone still eating their tea at this point? It's half past nine. It's ten past nine. You shouldn't be. But surely a curly pube, not one on its own, but uh, a sea of curly pubes would be more likely to cushion the blow of a pen than straight pubes. Probably. 
We need a scientist, really. Have we got any scientists in that can help us out? We've got an experiment we need to test. A forest. Is that what it was described? I had a wardrobe crush my foot two days ago. That's pain. I just dropped a pen on my nut. That's more pain. <laughs> Dupes having a lovely old spag bowl. Brilliant. Have some prime Amazon money cap. Dextrous Wombat. Firstly, brilliant name. Secondly, thank you for the uh for the little share of Amazon Prime money. Lovely stuff. Dr. Max may be able to Are you an actual doctor, Dr. Max? We've got a research project for you. We need to know what offers more test testicular protection. Straight pubes or curly. Does anyone have straight pubes? I mean I'm I'm a naive young man. I've not spent a lot of time with pubes in my life. That's probably not how I wanted to phrase it. I thought that I thought everyone had curly ones. Is there, is there people out there with straight pubes? I don't know if a poll is scientific enough. I think think people are just going to mess with me at this point. It's not the kind of thing I can Google, is it? Manscaped probably have a pube straight there. <laughs> Toodle pip dupe. Dupe, before you go, quick question for you. No? No, he's gone. In my years through med school and now as a junior, I've never seen a straight pube. There you go. That is all the information we needed. We don't need a research project. Straight pubes don't even exist. I'm off the hook. That was clearly dog hair before. Orion, thank you very much for the sub. Tier one, three months in advance as well. I've got to keep streaming for at least another three months because of Orion. Thank you very much. That's me booked up until May. Thank you. Use NordVPN, change your location and Google it. I mean, that's a very good idea. What country is most likely to want to know about pubes? And we'll protect, we'll move our location to there. Use NordVPN so that my internet service provider doesn't know what I'm up to. Do we want to let Louis Holtzman go? We probably do. But I also kind of don't. But he's not good enough for this level. But then he is earning money. We should probably let him go. I have a funny story about someone with a hair straightener in their never region. You got to tell us now. Oh, oh. And then you. Do I look Spanish to you? Matty Wolf. It's another one of our former legends. He's not aged a day since last year's face pack. Because it's the same face pack. He's not aged a day. Ross, get lost. Oh. That's my next series after Born World Tour, searching for the mythical straight pubes. I'll just get the scrap map out again. Where are Montrose in this save? I don't know. We'll go look for them at some point. Dave, you're on the wire again. Move. Oh, dear. Is it as funny as men using Veep removal cream? on their ball sacks. Do people do that? I mean, I'll level with you. I've never uh, shaved or anything down there. Because I remember shaving my face and then when it grows back, it's really itchy. I don't want really itchy balls. Let's just say it was a Valentine's Day night shift in A&E and a young gentleman wanted to try straightening his pubes as a prize for his lucky girlfriend. I might have caught something else and got third degree birds. I mean... I love the fact that that's a treat for his girlfriend. Happy Valentine's Day. And it's just a centre parting. <laughs> oh my word. What? What? I've, I love. I, I want to know the thought process. Oh, I've got a hydrate. Have I? Adam Pass, thank you very much for the sub. I used to wax my legs for cycling. That gets really itchy in your trousers when it starts to grow back. I don't know, see, that sounds awful. I suggested next time he should try dyeing them if he had the urge. Surely you should be trimming them into a heart shape or something. I mean, that's, that's what I'd do. 
I'm a, I'm a, I'm an old school romantic. I'm not straightening him. I'm trimming into a heart shape. This is the content we're here for. <laughs> Trim him and gel him. <laughs> That's that. I'm, surprise! I've gelled my pubes. <laughs> oh dear. Some of that coloured hairspray you get at the school fair. Hoba Mallow, thank you very much. Should I be worried that since we started talking about pubic hair, subs, the subscription rate has gone up massively? That's like four or five subs in the last 10 minutes compared to probably four or five for the previous two hours of the stream. Got to give the people what they want. You want, you want scrotums and stuff, apparently. What do I think about Christian signing with AEW? Eh. This is just the start of the story. He's never worry about going to see a doctor. But no, we do find some things incredibly funny. I mean, that's got to be the key skill for a doctor, hasn't it? Keeping a straight face when when stuff really goes mental. That would be the bit I'd really struggle with. I think I'd find that harder than, you know, medical school. Just not laughing when nuts stuff happens. What index do I invest in for the stock market? Wanting to start myself. Looks like Vanguard is the place to go. There are so many. What's your advice? I mean, I'm a little bit wary of giving too much in the way of advice. Vanguard usually has the the lowest fees, which is a good place to start. I would, I mean, I would suggest anything that's low cost, whole of market. You just want something that's going to track the whole stock market. Um, the S&P 500 one in America is quite nice because it, it, you, get, you get a little slice of your Amazons and your Apples and all that kind of stuff. If you're in the UK, you could just do something that tracks the, the FTSE 100 or the FTSE All Share. You just want something that's taken in the whole of the market. Don't try and pick individual stocks. It's a mugs game. Posture check. There we go. This is why we go to med school for six years, just to practice keeping a straight face on those A and E shifts. I, I wouldn't. I mean, for me, if it's six years, I'd need at least a year learning that. Do I think I'll win the league this year? I hope so. I mean, we came so close last year, and we've improved the team, so I hope so. Embarrassing bodies always gets me. Steve from Salford has extreme anxiety. <laughs> yeah um but there's his willy um i don't i've never really watched that show i hear i see clips of it that just appear on the internet of people laughing at it it's just odd have i listened to diz's interview with dr benji um i haven't but i probably will at some point but you know you can get too much ben can't you now he's got his podcast with zealand and the streamer showdown and you know it's only so much ben i can take before it all gets a little bit a little bit too much dun, 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 dun. Um, the surgical masks help what for, for making it look like you're not laughing i guess they probably do What did he talk about on this thing then give us the highlights sell the uh, sell the podcast to me in three sentences what were the highlights how could you live a normal life after being on naked attraction what's naked attraction is that that program where you it's the dating show where you have your dangleberries out i think anna's tried to show me that before and i just took one look at it saw a tiny little willy looking back at me and was like i don't want to watch this program that's the one yeah kev look at this oh that's a penis on my tv thanks anna <laughs> thank you very much 
Was I looking in a mirror? If I was looking in a mirror, I wouldn't be able to see my penis. I'm 24 stone. I'd need a system of mirrors set up to be able to see it. Ben spoke about his past before FM, anxiety, depression, DVT, pulmonary embolism. Very honest and deep interview. Would I ever do anything similar? Um, I've done stuff like that. If, I mean, if people ask, I rarely say no to a podcast. I just don't often get asked. I don't think people like me. I rarely get... Oh, we failed to qualify. Never mind. I rarely get asked to do podcasts. Certainly within FM. I've done a lot more out in the wider YouTube and like stuff. But within the FM lot, I very rarely get asked to do stuff. I've pretty much said yes to everything I've ever been asked to do. Five star social podcast. Five star pod social podcast featuring Lujo. That was good. And that was good. Yeah, there you go. It's a perfect example from old Azapardi. Um, I talked quite a lot about stuff in there. That was it. That was a deep interview with Kev. Dun, dun, dun. Will you get lost, Ross? All summer long. All summer long. Just imagining a system of mirrors for a fat man to be able to see his penis now. Could probably make money off of that. I mean, you got to know that sort of thing must already exist. naked streamer showdown i mean most streamer showdowns are naked from the waist down i think i'd be surprised if many of the people competing were wearing trousers you're telling me when curtis sat there with his bow tie on he's wearing trousers not a chance first game of the season oh who are we playing inverness kev versus ict once again can't sit on a chair without trousers that feels like the talk of somebody who's never even tried there you go as a party confirming joggers or shorts i mean what kind of man wears a suit with shorts i've ruined it for everybody now haven't i <laughs> oh the illusion's gone he's not in a full suit <laughs> I'm not sitting here with trousers on. I don't own the bottom half to any of these suits. I own two half tuxedos. Perfect outfit for working out straight after the stream. To be honest... Dave, just move over a bit. I've got my little pedally thing under here. I literally sit when I'm not streaming. What something's got caught under the pedal. When I'm not streaming or making a video, I'll just sit here and do this. So I'm pedaling now. So it's now a workout. Yeah. See, you can barely tell until I start sweating in a minute. The next job interview I go to, I'm going like, Kev, you should. Just say, look, everybody works from home now anyway. This is what I'm going to wear when you get me on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I've moved Dave's head. He's now just glaring. He hates it when I'm using this thing. He usually leaves the room. He really hates it. When you said you're not in trousers, I thought you meant naked from the waist down. I mean, the, I'm sat next to open curtains with a, with a main road the other side of the glass. I think I'd be in prison if I was sat here with nothing on below the waist. There's this guy who just sits there every evening. He wears a suit on the top half, nothing at all on his bottom half, next to a waist height window. I'm really worried what's going on in there. Dun, 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 dun. Just gonna prove to you all. Look at his little legs go. Pump those legs. Come on, Kev. Faster, faster, faster. Faster, faster. See? 
Oh, I'm tired now. I need to lie down. Should we actually play this football match? How distracting is it that I am doing this? Because <laughs> I could just... I might be able to do a 24-hour stream again if I could do this through the whole thing. But to stop myself getting a blood clot. Can you be arrested for being naked in your own house? I would imagine if you deliberately sat there naked next to a window that points out to a main road. I imagine you'd get the police come around and saying, please draw your curtains. <laughs> right, are we winning yet? No. We need another striker, really. We've only really got the one-armed swan. If he gets injured, we have a big problem. So last night, I'll say it again. You've all just seen skin. You're okay for fiver. Exactly. Come on. Hi up. Why am I so... Oh, I'm, I've moved slightly on the camera because I have to line myself up with the pedals. So I'm now off center. Rule of thirds. You can now really see the KFC sponsored Pac-Man. Hope you don't live near a school. Um, I don't know where the nearest school is, actually. I know at school kicking out time, you get loads of kids walking past the house because... I always have to make sure to draw the blinds. I'm going to stop this now before I get really sweaty and out of breath. Um, yeah, you get to school kicking out time. And you hear the kids going past. Because I now know to shut my blinds at about three o'clock. Because one of the first days after we moved in, they were walking past. I had the blinds open, the window open. And of course, I've got my YouTube plaque on the wall there. And my name there. I'm trying to hide where I live. And they were going, there's a YouTuber in there. Who do you think it is? And I'm like, blind shut. <laughs> and never have them open when kids walk past again. Hydrate. I sh right, I I stopped pedaling a second ago. And now Dave is sat on my foot. The dog, not as a party, just for clarification. Bum, bum, bum. Was that disallowed? Okay. I'll allow it to be disallowed. Shh. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. I mean, I mean, it is a fun fact that my dog was named after Dave as a party. Yeah. My big hero. That's his full name. That's, his, that's, that's the name he's under at the vets. Dave has a party. We're ready for you now. We don't call him that often in public, but at the vets, that's how he's addressed. Mr. Azafardi. FM YouTuber quiz question for you. <laughs> what do you think of the change to the offside rule? I'm Kev. My fog is older than that, Dave Azafardi. My fog is pretty old. Yeah, no, nobody fact check what I was saying. Like I was saying last night, 80-20 rule. 80% of what I say is true. 20% is absolute poppycock. And I've been doing it so long, I often don't know which bits are the lies. I've had Dave eight years. So, do we think he was really named after Dave as a party? I'm not going to run the maths to check. How are we losing to ICT? Have I named my penis after Clark Harris? Maybe. And we refer to him as Big Johnson around here. None of this Clark Harris nonsense. We're not his PE teacher. Did we find out who in the stream of showdown is a tinner and who isn't? We're working on it. It'll be my big question for the next showdown. Every match, I will refuse to kick off until they tell me if they're a tinner or not. And I won't be telling anyone what a tenor is, so they're going to have to do their research. Why is this going so wrong? I think we need to leave. Time for a job hunt. Needs to be part of the lowdown, what, whether or not someone's a tenor. I think it should. As a party, take notes. I expect... I, I will I will go... I'll do... I, I, I won't commit to an amount, because, you know... I like money. I'll commit to some gifted subs. Why has the camera just gone off? I'll commit to some gifted subs on the lowdown Twitter uh, Twitch account if for the next lowdown, Dave has a party. is sat there eating a Frey Bentos pie out of the tin. I'll just drop straight in and do some gifted subs straight away. It's out of focus now. 
What is going on? Is that back in focus? That looks near enough for now. Right, there we go. Camera turned, camera overheated again. This is going to be a problem in here in the summer. So I want some Kevy dollars for the showdown. I don't know what I'd do with Kevy dollars. What would I do? What would I use them for? Um, this has not gone well today. Are they cold? You have to warm them up, Dave. They're congealed mess. Have you ever seen, like, the YouTube videos where people open a canned chicken? And it's just a congealed, horrible mess. That's what a Frey Bentos pie straight out of the tin is. But you take the lid off the tin, put them in the oven, and then it's like puff pastry on the top with pie mix underneath. It just happens to be in a tin. They're really good. I mean, I say they're really good. It's probably horse meat. Diseased horse meat at that, I imagine. But, you know, for pound shop food, they're great. They're making me feel sick already. Have you never eaten a pie, Dave? It's meat. It's meat in gravy with pastry on top. It's a pie. <laughs> Pies, by their very nature, are disgusting. It's no more or less disgusting than any other pie. Right, come on, boys. Let's do a football. Um, um, we need another striker. This is going to be a big problem. McPake has already... See, we've taken off three players who can play up front. I want to stick two up top, but I don't really have another one to go up there. Kev, 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 you amateur. It's amateur hour. Although Dante Casanova with the big long throw. No. Did we ever find out about the Queen? What, whether she's a tinner or not? She's got other stuff on her mind this week. She's not not re replying to my tweets. Selfish, really. I think she's I think she's muted Twitter for the week. Have I seen Frey Bentos dinner pots? No, what's a Frey Bentos dinner pot? Now I'm intrigued. I don't even know what the lead up to that goal was. We just saw the animation for the goal and then disallowed. That's two disallowed goals today. After this match, I'm going to look up what a Frey Bentos dinner pot is. Mikey boy, thank you very much. Glad you're enjoying it. Do you like my new yellow suit, by the way, that I'm wearing on the touchline? I've upgraded from the pink one to yellow. Oh, 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 what's going on? Oh, I see. Pucker pies are awful. Pucker pies are all right. The best pies are pie minister pies. They're brilliant, especially the one called Kevin. A chef on YouTube who used to work for the royal family surely know if the queen was a tinner or not you'd think you would think right hold on so Frey Bentos dinner pot did you say what's a Frey Bentos dinner pot they're vegan hello Frey Bentos has rolled out a range of microwavable dinner pots and a move designed to answer the demand for nutritious, speedy dinners. So they don't have pastry on top. That one's just bean... Barbecue sausage and beans. You have to have that one cold. Cold beans are best. We all know that. Vegan bolognese. Does it actually have any pasta in it? Or is it just... I mean, they look all right, didn't they? Mm. To the pound shop we go! Because if you're buying any from Frey Bentos from anywhere other than the pound shop, you're doing it wrong. They're, it says they're £1.50. Oh, mind you, they're already in Nisa, Cost Cutter and Spa. These are prime Frey Bentos locations. They'll be in B&M for a quid before long. That's when I'm going to strike. But yeah, the um, best pie is this. The Kevin pie. From Pie Minister. 
chestnut mushroom, tomato, and quinoa pie with baby onions. It's a vegan pie, even vegan pastry. It's really good, and it's called The Kevin. Not sponsored, but they did name a pie after me, officially. Unofficial. Unofficial. Officially, they named a pie after me, probably. Um, and it's delicious. It's really good. They're already in B&M. Brilliant. Are they a quid? If they're a quid in B&M, I'm in. Burbston. Thank you very much for the sub. Is the Queen a potter? <laughs> is that the, that's the new thing, is it? Right, we need a striker. Come on, let's have a striker. No, that's a goalkeeper, Kev. Learn the difference. We already tried to sign him, didn't we? Why didn't we get him? Is he the one we couldn't afford? Bruce, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, come on. In you come. There you go. We'll take him. He'll do. Should be sponsoring me. They should be sponsoring me. They also do tokens on the box. Um, you get one token per pie. If I collect up 250 pie minister tokens, I can get a skateboard with a pie on it. A picture of a pie. And I won't. Anna says I can't buy a skateboard. So now I'm just going to pie three times a week. And I'm going to earn a skateboard by eating pies. Oh, every time we try and sign anyone, the English team's coming. I hate the English. I've been in Scotland two years and I already hate the English. They're rubbish. Oh, Charlie Barnacle. Potentially available for loan. There we go. A sub for the pie talk. Amazing. <laughs> oh, this would be really cool if we get Charlie Barnacle in. Oh, I hate everybody. Everyone we try and sign goes somewhere else. Curse you, England. <laughs> it wasn't as if it was one of the good bits, Ivory. Went to Wigan. Just imagine you're trying to learn how to skate. I used to skate when I was younger. I mean, I was a third the size I am now. In all directions. But I used to be able to do a bit. It'll cost him 10,000 points every time he plays. Brilliant. Yeah, Anna said I can get a skateboard. And this goes for electric skateboards as well. She said I can get one. As long as when I injure myself, I don't expect any help from her. So if I fall off it and break both my arms, she's not wiping my bum. Was basically the gist. Which I don't think I can run that risk. See, now we're talking. The quality is improving all of a sudden. Is Charlie still in? He was in here all evening and it feels like he's now gone. Just as we sign him. What a treat that'll be for him tomorrow night. He does his 10,000 points at the start of the stream. Aha! You don't need to. You're right here. Video for the other channel. Kev learns how to skateboard. I mean, these are all things I can do. when this... I live quite near a skate park. I'll just... I will literally be the hello fellow kids meme. Wandering over to the skateboard. Asking the teenagers to team wander, wandering over to the skateboard. That's a good start. But if I stand in my garden and the wind's blowing in the right direction, I can hear the whoosh, whoosh of skates. Skates. We're doing skates over there. I am the one hand man. Thank you very much for the sub. All right, Charlie Barnacle's in. And we might be getting a guy off Liverpool as well. It's all turning out all right in the end. We don't need these numpties in on permanent deals. We're just bringing all the trialists. Charlie Parnacle confirming he's here. And he is now a Clyde player. Now we'll find out if you're any good. You've got to get past the one-armed swan. 
I'm a big Leicester fan. Just finished and loved the Leicester Beta series. Who would have thought Harvey Barnes is better than Messi? I know. He's brilliant. Imagine if he flops. What would that be like, Alvin, eh? What, what, could you imagine what that would be like if we signed him on loan and he wasn't any good and we ended up not wanting him again? Can you imagine, Owen? Can you, Owen, can you specifically, can you imagine what that would be like? I'm not, I'm not supplying the context there. If you can't work the context out for yourself, you don't deserve to know what was happening there. You'd look a little weird and might get arrested for going to the park without any kids. I'm going to the skate park to learn to skate. Let's face it, the ones that are over there at 11 o'clock on a weekday, they ain't kids either. They're supposed to be in school. It were me and all the other dads. <laughs> it's where me and the dads hang out at lunch times when the kids are at school. We go skateboarding. Imagine if he's good, but he gets injured all the time. That'd be brilliant. But right, we're getting the guy off Liverpool as well. Didn't even... Uh, this one wasn't even me. This is my director of football who's done this one. I mean, he's not actually as good and he's a winger. So he's going to be in the way of the little fat moron, which isn't great. He looks so disinterested in being here as well. He looks dead in the eyes. All right, Nico. Rubbish. Did I get a play uh, requested a few days ago? I haven't done them for a day or two. Now I know there's some on there again. I need to go on Discord more often. I'm too old to remember to do it. But I will get on there after the stream tonight. So it'll be on there tomorrow night. Right. Barnacle is in on the right-hand side. Apparently you can play there, which is good. Oh, let's see if the barnacle's any good. I want to say enjoy your content very much especially the home save pritchard the goat thank you very much pritchard is the goat there's a lot of him as well he's a big boy this is the first transfer window no we've um this is like season we're season eight of the save now this is our third year in scotland right let's check in on the barnacle effect on the right hand side number 10 i think is charlie barnacle oh i should probably update the stream title to show that it's season eight now season eight otherwise when i come to put it on youtube i'll be so very confused i want to be here i want to be here and like nico that's why you're starting <laughs> My favourite FM player from Kev is Marola. Oh, yeah. Marola special was a joy to behold. That's a lovely pass for the one-armed swan as well. He hit that hard, didn't he? Gave that some welly. Imagine if he had two arms. Posture check. My apologies. There you go. Reese Robinson's playing for Livingston. We've got two channel members coming up against each other here. Is Reese in? He was in earlier in the stream. we're not very good this season it's weird because we've kept everything that was good about last year's team brought in like five players who are better than what we had we just seem a bit broken i don't really understand why we're bottom of the league right now what what on earth is going on i can't do job but the only jobs that are available are in the welsh second tier i'm not going back to wales Luckily, the board only want mid-table this year. If we have to do one more year, then leave, and so be it. I don't think we're going to get the Ajax job off the back of this, though, are we? Here you go. The one-armed swan's in again. Corey does hit a football, doesn't he? Oh, oh it's offside. When he kicks a football, though. Goodness me. I love the emotes used for the one-armed swan. That's incredible. Good work, Zoe. Right, Dante Casanova. Come on now. What a what a deep cross. 
Terrell Whitaker trying to justify his existence in one of my saves at some point ever. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Come on now. We need a win to... We need a win before the stream ends, really. I can't end the stream on a downer. We did that last night and I was so sad. I cried myself to sleep last night after what happened at the end of last season. Oh, the one-armed swan. Dante Casanova to the one-armed swan. It's a tale as old as time. And we're back in this game. Beautiful. It was a romantic pass from Casanova. A beautiful pass. And the one-armed swan is in the goals again. We're not bottom of the league anymore, which is good. Don't like being bottom of the league. It's rubbish down there. Right, come on, Terrell. It's because he knows I sold him in the home save earlier today. I recorded the home transfer special that's not out for a little while. I'm a little bit ahead again, trying to get ahead so I can record the Bourne videos. But there you go. There's another spoiler. Next transfer special, Terrell Whitaker gets sold. Are you planning on taking over the monarchy anytime soon? Don't worry, we've got him here. We'll always have Terrell Whitaker in one save or another. Let's face it, I ruined him at home, playing him out on the right-hand side of midfield for his first three years at the club. Not even as a right-winger. On the right-hand side of midfield. Just ruined him. The one save he's had an opportunity to play as a striker in this year, he's been brilliant. Because he was... Um, he was played centre-forward for Kettering for years after I left and was fantastic. Scored loads of goals for him. But I've just never played him central in the three clubs I've had him at this year. Plus, I signed him twice last year as well i think i genuinely think when we get the lelujo wikipedia page finally i think we might find terrell whitaker is my most signed player ever charlie barnacle has scored on his debut what a time to be alive oh beautiful stuff i don't know why i put the crown on but i have we need a barnacle uh, command so we can track his performance the way we used to with Shady. Hydrate. I'm running low on liquids here. Charlie Barnacle, one from one. I don't know why I'm holding this. Gives me something to do with my hands. This has been end to end. This is proper, proper semi-pro football, this game. We're not messing around with any of that defending nonsense. Lovely passing triangles with my goalkeeper there. How many cans are on the desk? We don't talk about how many cans are on the desk. One armed swan. Yeah, the desk has got more cans than it did yesterday. I do need to. It was recycling day today as well. Anna's going to kill me if she finds out there's cans on the desk. I am going to do lots of crushers tomorrow. I've got some cans upstairs that need crushing as well. I now have to properly tidy the house several times a week. It's very sad. Um, but Andy's care is coming again tomorrow afternoon for a few hours. So I'm obviously not going to have them come into a filth covered can strewn house. So I have to, I'm going to have to do the cans. Rubbish. Two minute rule curve definitely takes less than two minutes to just do it. It doesn't take two minutes to take them all up and then crush them all though for recycling. It's like a 10 minute job crush it. If I did them one at a time, it would, but I don't. What league are we in? We are in the Scottish Championship. And we've discovered how to score goals apparently. And once again, it's Casanova to the one-armed swan. The one-armed swan is back everybody. Four goals for him in the first half today. He doesn't want to be out outdone by the new boy. Oh, we've got a new player who's coming on the right hand side, have we? Well, I'm just going to score four goals in the first half. Terrell Whitaker doesn't want to get forgotten about either. 6 2 before half time. This is absurd. We were bottom of the league at one point in this game. 
It's not even half time yet. <laughs> well, there we go. Just keep doing what you're doing, gentlemen. Could be the long awaited 6 6. It could. But I suspect we're going to score more in the second half. We've got the new lad from Liverpool to come on yet. Yeah? The one arm swans in again. <laughs> Time for a slam dunk corner. Is Whitaker any good? I mean, I always sign him. He's good enough. He's good enough to be starting for me in the Scottish Championship. So he's probably better than he is at home. Yeah, we're not even going to get another highlight now, are we? Oh, here we go. Highlight time. We're going to get the, the other new boy on in a minute. I think Charlie can probably come off. Don't want to break him on his debut. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna draw this game, aren't we? I can see it now. Right, Nico is on. Get Delcroy on in there as well. And then we'll also take off Whitaker. Come from my browse page. I've been watching your YouTube videos for years now, so it's crazy to see you stream FM on Twitch. Hey, welcome along. Welcome along. Wait until Lewis doesn't go 226. They might do. They probably won't. The AI is not as smart as Kev. Right, we should. I don't know. Do we drop. See, we've scored six goals, so part of me thinks praise, but then we've just conceded one, so we probably shouldn't praise that. Come on, boys. Let's get the other new boy a debut goal as well. That's what we're looking for. The Guinness Walker on the right-hand side. The one-armed swan was in again. The one-armed swan's on a perfect 10 at the moment, boys and girls. Perfect 10. But he wears a 12. Beautiful self-reference off of the 90s. Beautiful. Come on, boys. We want one more. Everyone went home at half time. Love that reference. One for the dads. Another one for the dads. Oh, the one arm swans hit the post again, and he ain't missing from there. Efron's in. 7 3. What a time to be alive. Love the formation in the Longest Legend today. It was beautiful. What formation did I do? Was I fiddling? Just a child of Manchester who loves the beautiful South. Fair enough. Best game of the season contender already. I would imagine so. We're still going. Delcroy wants involved. Casanova's in a crossing position again. Poor old... I've just realised Reese Robinson's playing in defence for this lot. We're ruining his career in one game. He was man-marking the one-armed swan. He's not had a very nice evening. <laughs> oh dear, is Reese in? Is he gone? I think he might have gone. He was so happy earlier in the stream as well, telling us how he'd won all those tournaments. Come on, let's have one more goal. Still a way to get the Scottish record score of 36 0. That would be impressive work. I've never even had a score like that in a friendly, I don't think. I thought that was going in the top corner. Muha, hello. All the way up to fifth. Lovely stuff. They're going to score again, aren't they? This is a ridiculous scoreline. Posture check. There we go. Posture check is done. Right, the one arm swan wants five. Come on. He just hits it so hard. Can you make me a moderator? Absolutely not. I've never seen your name before. How on earth do you get anywhere in the home save? All my good players get snapped up in the first few weeks. I have a £300 wage budget and every half-decent player wants at least a £100 appearance fee. I only offer a 25 max. Half my team is grayed out players. Um, I ju I've just got the mad skills, I think. I think that's probably what it is. 
once you um once you get through that first season it's all right well i've been following the channel the whole two minutes amazing i wonder if that's ever worked for them before turning up he's probably still the most recent follower he is the most recent follower turns up with a twitter bot username a name followed by a load of numbers so i might as well just call myself hi i'm a russian bot and then turns up with the can i be a mod oh yes please be a mod oh, forget mod be an admin do you want my bank account details as well my word that's a good result we'll take that one i think that's probably a nice way to end the stream actually took me four and a half years to become a mod exactly you had to serve a long apprenticeship I mean, we've met in person multiple times as well. Right, we are going to wrap things up there. Um, the one armed swan has set a new Scottish Championship record, previously set by Stevie May, who almost signed for Posh once, but then didn't. He's now a manager, apparently. I think it was when he was still at St. Johnston he was linked with us. Went to Sheffield Wednesday instead. To be fair, it looks like it turned out all right for him. And he's now a manager. Right, we will uh, we will raid somebody. Who will we raid? Nobody knows. It is a mystery. Let's have a look to see who's on. Who is on? We should probably raid Sweet Left Foot. Because we raided Omega Luke last night. I don't want to show favouritism. Especially because I don't really know which one's which. So we'll raid him. This one's the wrestler, isn't he? So we'll raid him. I'll see you back here. Same sort of time again tomorrow night. Toodle pip, boys and girls. Yeah, it's the same person on two different usernames. That's how you get two raids in a week out of me. Multiple usernames. All turn up and ask if you can be a mod. Every single person. Don't say raid. Say, can I be a mod? And just let's see how he reacts. Toodle pip, everybody. times can i be a <laughs> what what have you done <laughs> why why <laughs> why <laughs> oh goodness me <laughs> the one the one with the part 